can't see. The thermometer's going down. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Whoa, hey, don't take it. This guy's taking a ticket. <laughs> no, they're getting us back. Oh, oh no, <laughs> they've blocked us out. <laughs> Surging, you can hear the cable cooling kicking on and off. Be careful, Kyle. He's trying to get us to run out. I'm floored, but it's not doing any power output. Piloting the lightning, standing out the side of it. Oh, no, it's oh, looking man. busy, Dad. Yeah, a little more. Brakes. <laughs> turn a little turn a little, little left because you're just, yeah, a little forwards, tiny bit, and we're good. Right. Adapter, please. Sandwich, no, I no, mean, no, I, don't, no. I, don't, I don't know. You know, beauty before age. Oh. Hello and welcome to another out of spec motoring road trip race. We have two F-150 Lightnings that are identical. This is my friend Tom Malogny's F-150 Lightning Lariat Extended Range and uh, he's from the YouTube channel State of Charge. Of course, everything will be linked. Tom will be in this video. And then over here is our F-150 Lightning Lariat Extended Range. Same exact configuration as Tom's truck. So we have two identical trucks on the OE tires, on the OE wheels, no changes. We are going 1,000 miles from his house to basically the Daytona International Raceway in Florida and Tom's truck will be using the public charging networks with CCS. So that would be Electrify America, EVgo, ChargePoint, Green Lots, Blink, all you guys know the drill. And we have, of course, Tom has one too, but we have the uh, Tesla supercharger adapter for Ford. Recently, Ford opened up, was the first automaker to partner with Tesla to gain access to thousands of version three Tesla superchargers. I have the adapter, my truck has the software, and we're actually gonna see how much of a benefit that adapter gives you if you're a Ford EV owner or one of the uh, owners of vehicles that are about to join the Tesla supercharger network very soon. You can see the conditions are great. I'll walk you through all the testing procedures and then you can join us for an awesome mega road trip. I'll be with my dad behind the camera, out of spec Dave, driving from here in New Jersey down to Florida nonstop. And it's a race to see who gets there first and who has the better charging experience. Well, you join me just a few hours before we're shooting that intro with the Fantic tire inflator. This one's the pretty juicy one, actually. This is the X9 Ultra. This thing can literally fill up a F-150 Raptor tire, like a 35-inch tire on a small rim from 0 to 35 PSI in four minutes, which is pretty crazy. We have 35-inch tires on the Cybertruck. Guys, check out how fast this thing fills up. I'm at uh, 41 and a half PSI. I'm going to juice it up to 52 just because right now the tires are are warm and check this out here we go just about one minute to get up 10 over 10 psi holy smokes this thing is a ripper you can also charge multiple devices using the usb ports like this phone using usb a a laptop using a juicy 65 watt USB-C and this drone on another USB-C. And if you're caught in the dark, it has some great built-in light features, including a lamp function and a spotlight that can also be set to flash. So a big thank you to Fantic for sponsoring this out of spec motoring road trip. This is what we use to set all the tire pressures for the race across the country with all the electric trucks. And of course, I'm actually gonna use it to power some things as well. Really a nice unit. I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks again to Fantic and let's get to the race. So it's raining, we're in New Jersey. I'm at Tom's house. We'll go see Tom in a minute. We're also with our friend Pete, who's gonna be riding with Tom in his Lightning and uh, I'm just charging up my truck to 100%, or at least as close as I can get before we leave. It's at 90 something percent right now. Tom's truck is sitting at 100%. So um, essentially, uh, both Tom and I were able to charge on the Tesla supercharger network with Ford vehicles on the opening day, which was Leap Day. Is that what it's technically called, Dad? Yeah, March, tw March February 29th, Leap Day. Happens once every four years. Right, of 2024. And, and this is such a huge occasion. It sounds simple on the start of it, but literally the entire charging landscape changes. Uh, you know, starting now. And Fords are the only vehicle at the time of this recording. Of course, this video will last on YouTube for a long time into the future. And maybe one of you guys will be watching this two, three years from now and be like, everyone charges on superchargers. We are gonna take really the first ever road trip 
using Ford vehicles on the Tesla Supercharger Network. We've been kind of monitoring. No one's done a road trip testing this out outside of Ford. We're the first customers to do it. Of course, mine is actually a Ford vehicle. It's a test truck. It's a 2023 F-150 Lightning that Ford kindly lent me to make this video for you guys. And then Tom owns a Lightning. Uh, and of course, he'll be using his truck, but same specifications. So what is the plan? Well, you're going to be joining me and my dad in our Lightning. We'll get some of Tom's clips and put them in here as well. But Tom will also have a video on his channel. I'll make sure that is linked everywhere so you can find it, where you can see his full point of view on the road trip. We're going to have a glimpse tracking thing. We can see who's ahead or behind. And... Um, it's, it's a thousand mile road trip. It's CCS versus NAX or J3400 with the Tesla supercharger network. The um, adapter that Ford provided is pretty simple. I'll make sure you see that throughout the video. I'll show you the activation process, plug and charge, all of that will be in here as well. So if you're thinking about taking your Ford vehicle on a road trip, well, now you'll know how that process goes. So rules and regulations. This is super important to make sure that we keep things as fair as possible. Uh, I'll go through and make sure the tire pressures are matching so that we have an even uh, tire pressure. You know, I want the trucks to be as, as comparable as possible. However, Tom's truck does have just under 20,000 miles on it and ours is pretty much fresh. I only have 2,000 miles on ours. So my guess is his truck has slight degradation. It might hurt him on that first stretch I'm talking maybe a couple percent at the most. So um, yeah, my, we'll probably leave at 98% state of charge, something like that, instead of 100, just to try and compensate. But the charging curves, the charging performance will be identical between the trucks. That won't get in the way. So there's really not that big of a difference. We're, not, we're gonna set a, a speed limit cap of 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. Uh, however, there probably will be stretches where we want to extend the range a little bit and drive a little bit slower than that. Uh, that's not to say we'll be cruising at 10 over. It's just, you know, that's our maximum cap. So none of us can like, you know, break the sound barrier doing a cannonball with these things. We want to keep it pretty customer representative. We're going to be using Blue Cruise, which is Ford's hands-free driver assistance system uh, when possible. At least I will. I don't know if Tom's going to play around with that. I'm sure he will. And, um, you know, my dad has to understand we're not stopping, smelling the roses, no, you know, museum tours like he does on the Out of Spec Dave hey, channel. Take it easy. <laughs> this is, this is, you know, hardcore race. We're either, I, I'm, I'm all for, I'm all in on this. Don't you worry. Yeah, we're either driving or we're charging. And, uh, you know, I'll walk you through our, our plan as we're on the first leg, but it's going to be tons of fun. Lots of videos to come. I really don't know what to expect. All I know is I really hope it's sunny in Florida because this weather sucks. Over a thousand miles. We're doing a one thousand mile race to Florida, but there are some rules here. Wow, Tom is a professional. That is <laughs> <laughs> really good. Uh, so um, you know, we got uh, the whole crew here. Dad is recording well, for his Paul's channel. I'm I don't recording know. you while you're recording me. <laughs> good, Tom. I have a question for you. Yes. Is it? And there's Pete recording all of us. Are magic docs? in fair game for you no 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 no, no. i that's actually tesla. think yes that's tesla i don't think it should be i don't think you'll hit any magic box i don't think it should though. be I, I i wouldn't use that I, really i want to see if i can make it to florida n without tesla's help faster than you can using exclusive tesla stations yeah. i think that's well guys they're having yeah. fun talking we're at 98 percent right now um we're going non-stop so it's sometime in the evening and we are uh yeah, getting ready to hit the road. So I'm going to leave this plugged in for as long as possible because I want to win. I actually think, you know, there in terms of CCS coverage, there are more charging locations that Tom can use than we can use right now. Uh, and it's, there's clumps of version threes that are open. And I'm curious to see how that expands over time. Um, but there's just one North Carolina station on I-95 that we can use. If you go from, you know, Wilmington to Asheville in North Carolina, you're good. You get got plenty of stations, but not on the north south route, south route either way my biggest concerns along with you dad i think are going to be charging stations a lot of tesla owners leave a space in between our charge port i don't want to say is on the wrong side but it's on the non-native side and so that could lead to some issues we also have you know at the charge port this is a fake dummy port but it's so far back which means we have to stuff our nose right up front oh, yeah. and stretch the cable so we have yeah little little room to work with Tom first charging in brewster and remember they had those... The, the bollards, yeah. The bollards there. Well, yeah. There was bollards at the one over there the other day. I got out of the truck like four times, looked, got back in, <laughs> got out, looked again, because I, yeah. I didn't trust the camera. Right, you know? sure, yeah. So, so Kyle, I have a question. Like, I know that there are certain V3s that are now 
approved or eligible to work yeah. with it. But are we able to stop off at V3s that if they're not on there, like take a chance and see if they still work? Yes. I, would, I wouldn't because rely I, on it at 0%, but Pete was able to get one to work yesterday. But we just have that one example. One example. We don't know beyond that. Right. Okay. So it might be worth us to leave some time on the table and try one in North Carolina, but we need enough reserve in case it doesn't work. Well, what, to, is it, what is it that Tesla is doing to authorize a V3? I don't understand. Yeah, well, it's ISO 15118 certificate exchange communications. So they need to approve that station to charge on this truck. I see. So okay. they have not flipped the switch on all of them. All of the ones that have been officially flipped on are in the Tesla app and in the Ford. That's what we are going to rely on because I don't want to take a chance and get stranded. Right, right. Uh, that could really screw us. Okay. So we're just going to use the ones that are officially approved. Now, after this video, we may play around and find every V3 works. I, I don't expect that to be the case, uh, but it's possible. And we'll to be see. clear, V2 absolutely doesn't work. V2 does not work. Okay. So we, we do have a fallback. If one of us actually runs out... Uh, like it doesn't make the station, just call the other one and we'll use a pro power on board oh, to charge the other yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Right. So there that, you go. That, that, you know, if, if somebody pushes it and we run out, you know, then. Do we uh, have the adapters? That you got all that with you? I got it all. Yeah, okay. nice. Yeah, Tom, I got nothing. So, <laughs> but as long as one of us has everything, yeah, then we're yeah. good. All I need is the mobile connector and the adapter. And yep. I, have, I have it in the front but of But the question truck. is, Great. if we run out, will you do that as a good sport for us? Oh, then we'll have to be points deducted. <laughs> <laughs> be a time yep. PSI. Yeah. The only, uh, the only, I guess, difference between our trucks is I have a tonneau cover. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think it'll actually make that big of a difference. So, um, worst case, I opened the tonneau cover as much as the, you know, it's allowed to go and it's strapped in here, which is the official way to, to lock it all in. So, um, that should be pretty good. And so at least we have pretty much the same bed. This isn't going to yeah, make a difference. Make a difference. Yeah. yeah. No. So we're all good there. Yeah. So let's get in the truck. Let's, uh, you know, set our first stop that we think we're going to go to. I'm sure we'll both have to adjust on the way and, uh, we'll see you guys in Florida or right. we'll at least be following you or you'll follow us on the first the leg. The first leg is going to be the only time we're going to see each other. Yeah. Like, but then after that, you know, yeah. Yeah. We'll see who wins. Yeah, we'll hell yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right and, and quick question, Tom. You know way more about, you have the advantage of owning a Lightning and driving them a lot. And you know the charging curve way better than I do. Is this one that we should try and run down to zero? Or what do you think? The interesting thing about this is, and you know this well too, the pat, the boost Yeah. with the Ford. It doesn't matter how low, it's one of the, it's very unique. It doesn't matter where you plug it in. You're going to get 10 minutes of 500 amps. And so you're going to get a huge boost. That there's not a great advantage of of, dri of of making sure you're down very, very low. Because if you plug in at 20%, you're still getting that boost for 10 minutes. And you actually get more of a boost yeah. because your voltage the is voltage higher. The voltage is higher, yeah. 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 So, so it's, um, you know, I, I don't think that's going to make that much of a difference. Honestly, I think the difference is going to be how quickly... I get in and out of the, the, the EA stations, and if you get into jammed up because the Lightning can't park because of the fact that you have to take up two stalls, and yep. that, and the and the Tesla station is 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 almost full. I mean, like if every other st spot is used, you might not be able to pull in. Right. So 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 you know that's going to determine who wins. I think because I think. The cars are going to charge the same once they're plugged in. Yeah. But yeah. the EA stations and the Tesla superchargers are going to give us the same amount of energy. And and the cars are going to be, the trucks are going to be the same, have the same efficiency. So it's all going to be how quickly can we get and where they're located. Do we have to drive 10 miles off the road to, off the highway to get them? That's going to determine this, honestly, I think at least. But who knows? Yep. Hey, same here. Hey, Sounds Tom, good. You know the All right, we got both trucks here ready to rock and roll. Tom's got a tinted light bar. That's really the main difference between the two. I think Pete's driving the first leg, yeah, so let's see how things are going in here. Yeah. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, look at you, 100% state of charge. 313 miles estimated. I think ours is showing just under that, but... 310. Uh, three, oh, 310, so okay. We're, we're at the same state yeah. of charge, you know uh, what I mean? Say, yeah. 313. Yeah, they're very close, yeah. very close. And we did not charge this to 100, so we're at 99. We're 99. 99. I know, I'm just, I got to make some excuses here, okay? I don't know if I'm going to lose or not. <laughs> so, um, Pete, you've obviously driven the Lightning a bunch. Yes, I have, And um, so good luck on the trip and, uh, well, thank you know. Thank you. Good, you know, have fun losing, basically. Yeah, well, we'll, see you, we'll see you in our mirror. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so those guys are off doing their thing, and... Uh, we will do 
our thing here. So dad's going to take on the truck and uh, Tom likes to go fancy. Connor's going down. <laughs> Imagine if we lose. That would be such a lame story. I don't even understand the word lose. Right. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to run down there for Tom's channel, get a nice picture of the trucks leaving. Uh, yeah, the key's in it, so he should be good. All right, let's hit the road. All right, so they're going to reset all the trip computers in there, and uh, that way everything's starting fresh. It is currently 4.39 p.m. We're going to be driving straight through. We were supposed to leave at 9 a.m. That really worked out well, didn't it? Typical out-of-spec timing here. By the way, Tom has so much solar on his house, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get the trucks reset and then they'll come down here i'll jump in with my dad and we'll head down towards hopefully the other side of washington dc i really want to get a big stretch on use as much range as we can and then do the charger hopping after Just that because i'm such a gracious guy i'm gonna let you guys go first okay <laughs> so uh you know beauty before age oh okay All right, you said his truck showed 313 miles of range. Our show's 312. Oh, it said, I thought it said 310. Yeah, but said... sometimes it recalibrates. Yeah. Uh, we're going to win this, so heated seats off. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we have a cool little timetable and uh, or everything that we're going to log for this trip because it is more or less a scientific experiment. It's not about winning or losing. Once Tom pulls out of here, we're going to be following him to the highway, and then we'll pretty much cruise with them for the first leg. Yeah. It will be the goal. By the way, he modded his F-150 in the back with a nice sticker, and we don't have that. So if he wins, it's because of that damn sticker. I don't think I like the sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> All right. Do we know where we're going? Yeah, we're following Tom. We're going Why to the same place. Why would we place. do that? Well, because we're going to drive together on the first leg to keep it as fair as possible. We are? Yep. You reset trip one. Is yeah, that what we're using? Also one and two are reset. Okay. Okay. Cool. And, uh, yeah. I mean, look, this is this is good. Now, why am I driving? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to drive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Off we go then. Boy, the regen, even on this steep hill, look at this. Yeah, it's doing brake blending. It's not just Man. regen. Go, go, go. Don't lose them. Listen to you. Come on. Holy smokes. Look at the water pouring out of his truck. Dad, it's a pickup truck. What I do know. you expect? I don't know. <laughs> Holy smokes. So, okay, you got headlights on. We're good. Everything's nice and set. Yeah. We got a big glass roof. We got a lot of snacks. We have a lot of snacks. I mean, the Wawa left, and, and they're, they're going to have better earnings this season because of us. Kinda. That's right. That's right. So, we are on the road. We are on the move. And we are off to Florida. Dang, this is awesome. Yeah, just, so, another, just another day. So we're gonna try and go to the farthest away Tesla supercharger we can make it to. Yeah. And then uh, that'll probably be in Virginia. Really? Oh, yeah. 300, well. So Kyle, do Tesla superchargers show up in the navigation system within Florida? Not really, not right now, not, not really. Now? Yeah, Okay. so it's a lot of manual work here. Because they do in Polestar. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. But that's for a different reason. That's yeah, just no, bad know. route, bad mapping. So cool house there, actually. All right, cool beans. We are on the move. We'll catch up with you guys along the way. But we got one heck of a drive to do. And uh, lightning versus what, lightning. What time is it? Four forty-three p.m. Yep. Oh boy. So, and we're staying in East Coast time. No time zone calculations. No time zone calculations. I feel mo most of my life is time zone calculations yeah. with our races because Vegas is always one hour back. But this is not, it's a race to Vegas style video, but not race to Vegas. All right, enough talking. Let's hit the road. We are now cruising through Tom's town on the way to the highway. I don't actually know if this is Tom's town or no, not. No, I, we're in Peapack, New Jersey. Okay. How do I know that? Yeah, I saw the post office sign. That's right. Yeah. So, yep, we're just cruising through. But, Dad, you were leaving a lot of space here. That's because I, I'm not supposed to go more than 10 over. Yeah, no. He's cheating. Yeah. That's oh, really? Pete's going more than 10 over He's right now? More, well, no, he actually isn't. Yeah, so you got to really pay attention to no, the see, speed limits is, here. This is 10 over and he's pulling away from me. No, I think it's pretty even. But, you know, that's how, you know, these things matter in these races. I don't so. know if you can trust people from New Jersey. <laughs> that's right. I don't think so I don't either. think you can. 
Yeah, but definitely we uh, we are within our bounds, but we're going a little bit uh, slower. Uh, don't you worry. 30, you're going 31. We should we could do 35. Don't you take it easy. <laughs> Come on. This is how you know. This is how Ryan beat me on the technicalities. I know that was so one. close too. But it matters. That's why. It you know, matters. So you think his skill set's better than yours? It's possible. <laughs> I don't know. It's about possible. That. We are now merging onto the highway for a long drive. So I guess we're going 287 to I-95. Is that how that works, Dad? Somehow we're going to end up on 95, yes. So, but we're so heading 287 south. 287 south. Yep. I'm not really sure exactly. Well, we'll work our way down. By the way, before we zoom in, I just want to show this is the range of the lightning that it's predicting. Mm. And it says we can get deep into Virginia. Right. Which is pretty dang good, for, I would say. south in Richmond, even. Yeah, but I don't think in the real world that's what's going to happen. No. But the conditions here are brutal, but both trucks are going through the same conditions. So, you know, rain, terrible visibility. We're going to go a reasonable speed with a cap of 10 over for this trip. But for the beginning bit, we're just going to stay together so that it's fair. Sound good? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, time to settle in. We got some miles to do. Yeah, can you hand me one of those uh, apple pies? Do we have apple pies? I got it. I got those little apple, little Debbie apple pies. Okay. Well, let's focus on the con uh, on you know making sure we're driving as efficiently as possible. I am. Are you? Yeah. All right. One-handed. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, two hands, too much, too much uh, power consumption. I want to. I want to use the blue cruise too. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll get that all sorted once we get set on the highways yeah. and everything. So, all right, we are going down to here basically from New Jersey down to Florida. Yep, should be a fun trip. We are going for our first pass. Dad, we're going to miss our exit. <laughs> oh no, they've blocked us out. <laughs> it said Perth Amboy in both directions, south and south. Yeah, I guess that's true. Both signs say so the what, same well, thing. So what is that? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but uh, oh, we didn't quite get the pass in. <laughs> oh, well, hold on, I can take care of that. Here yeah, we well, go. now you're burning energy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is what it's going to be this trip. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You asked me to drive. Yeah, oh, that's school right. School bus alert. Yep, yeah, school bus coming over. I can't get them. But dang, Tom's truck, these lightnings look good going down the road, don't they? Yeah. This should be fun. So we're on the little cutover heading to I-95. And Dad, I think the first supercharger that we're going to look to use, and I'm going to show everyone which ones are available at the time of this recording. Right. And we still don't have confirmation, truly, if the ones that don't show on the map, if we can also use those. Mm -hmm. That's a That could be something really interesting. Um, Pete got one of them to work. I don't feel confident on one. but When we have an hour and a half lead, yeah, then we can play around then with it. we can it. play around. Okay. But until we get that lead. So this is 200 miles away. The truck says 284 miles of estimated range. And there's a couple after. But I figured this is safe. I know we can at least make it here. Okay. Um, you know, How this far is, south of Washington, D.C.? This is, is the, the first one south of D.C. Okay. So that's let's just get on the other side of D.C. It's 200 miles. So that's what I'm putting in here. And, um, you know, our battery and their battery is... The, these trucks actually charge pretty well in, in conditions, but you can see we actually have a battery temperature readout there on the display. And so we can charge at our peak charging rates with the current temperature and Tom can as well. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to precondition or do anything like that. Um, currently you actually cannot precondition in the Ford system to superchargers. You have to select like a nearby EA yeah, or EV go and then navigate manually right, over. Right. right. There's no manual preconditioning option on this, but we won't need to do it. So it shows 230 miles uh, and 284 miles of range. So we're going to really be using most of it, but I think that's possible. Does this give you, does this Ford F-150 give you a percentage arrival state of charge? Not when you're using Waze. No, I understand not, but if you're using the navigation of the Ford truck, would it? I don't know if it gives you percentage or miles, but it'll give you some estimated okay. on arrival. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So all good. We're just going to use your CarPlay hooked up to your phone here. And we will, uh, we're just going to stick with Tom all the way to DC basically. And then, you know, then it gets real interesting. Yes. Oh, nice. Smoked him. <laughs> Whoa, hey, don't <laughs> take This guy's taking a ticket. Are taking you a ticket. Me? <laughs> no, they're getting us back. Oh, <laughs> just go. Oh, man. <laughs> you tried. I did. I yeah, tried. That was, that was I got good. taken by it. Good. Cars only. Wait, there this is go. a truck. Yeah, it's all Every right. time I call an F 150 a car, people yell at me. Yeah. Uh, why, you know. <laughs> so you're saying we should have gone in the truck lane? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is this will be fun, I think. I'm having fun. I don't know about you, Dad. Oh, I love this. Are you kidding me? 
Yeah. I got right. my body light armor. Don't drink too much. <laughs> we don't have time for bathroom breaks. These are the com these are these are the unwritten things you can't tell the competition. Like right. don't, don't you, drink. You have to have a big dinner party ahead of time. Really let them eat and drink. Right. And right. then hit the road. I got you. Yeah. Okay. But I think Tom's making pizza in his truck. I heard about that. Uh, yeah, he said he's gonna make a pizza wall on the first leg. I'm, I think I might smell something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, it's wafting out of his vehicle. Enjoy your potato chips, Dave and Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> we are a few. I don't know what. How long into our trip? Almost an hour in. Yeah. We're coming up alongside Tom and Pete. We just want to check on their pizza skills. So, yeah, let's inch up here, Dad, if you don't mind. All right. Okay, let's say hello to these guys. This is the world's slowest inch up to say hello. And there we go. <laughs> Quick little hello. Tom's getting his camera. <laughs> and this is great. Riding alongside Pete and Tom, lightning versus lightning. 75 miles per hour. The maximum allowable speed right now is exactly GPS 75, by the way. So everything is matched up nicely. I want to show the viewers where we can actually stop along the way. So I can do this in the Ford app, but actually in the Tesla app, when you come here to charge other EV, uh, I've already got a program that I'm driving a Ford. So it will show me all of the open superchargers, which is not, whoa, not all of them. Let me get this in a better spot for you guys. So we're going to be taking I-95 down south, which is basically this road that goes through Baltimore and then down through Washington. So the station that we're gonna stop at first, I think is this one is what I have in there, the Woodbridge location. Uh, when we get south of there, it gets pretty empty actually. You can see we come down through Richmond. Let's just X out of this and zoom out. We're gonna come down through Richmond and then you can see there's a pretty big stretch after uh, south of Richmond, past Rocky Mount, past the old out of spec track, down to, I think Benson is this one here. Let's see, yeah, Benson is where we're gonna have to stop. And then there's another big stretch all the way down past Lumberton, past Florence, down to Summerton. So that's gonna be a big stretch. And then there's another stretch all the way down to I hope this is just not loading because there's no way that's going to work for us down towards Jacksonville. Oh yeah, no, thank goodness more loaded in. Okay. So then, then we'll be okay and we can charge her hot, but it's not like every version three is open right now at the time of this recording. The hands-free thing is cool, right? Yeah, the hands-free, it's good. And, and what's interesting is back before I was going through a set, you know, a section where there was concrete on either side and it takes it out of hands-free and then it tells you put your hands on the wheel and then once it's got a little bit more comfortable then it puts back on the blue cruise with the hands free and very it's, nice uh, yeah it's good but it, it it doesn't like let you know audibly or very visually that hands free is off yeah you gotta kind of keep an eye you on it kind of, yeah i think i think it could be a low all right wait here comes tom and well, because you're not you're going 71 you can't sleep on people like this it's true. And now you're going over. Oh, no, we're oh, too wait, over. I went 76. <laughs> I have a feeling we really got to get Dave into the race to Vegas spirit here. Wait, These it, are the things we I obsess lose, over. Do I lose points there? No, we don't lose points because we're the only ones who know about this right now. <laughs> well, yeah, now. Right? Yeah. And then uh, Tom and Pete are right back there. Oh, no, Tom and Pete are probably like, you know, going to throw a protest. The phone's going to ring in about 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, uh, we got some distance to cover, so it'll be nighttime for the next check-in. I think we've given all the information up at the beginning of this video, so let's make it cruise along nicely. We got a lot of driving to do, so here we go, moving over and heading God, you should south. probably get some sleep because, you know, when it comes to like one, two, three in the morning, yeah. I'm not driving. Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. I'm going to try and get some sleep in now for yeah. sure. All right. Yeah, Tom just called us. He said they're on fire. <laughs> Kyle's got it. My friend is a nut. <laughs> Pete, you want me to call 911 for you guys? I mean, you know. All <laughs> smoke is pouring out of the oven because there's all old cheese and shit on the inside. It's all burning off. And you don't notice it normally, but we're inside this little cabin. 
So they're they're making a pizza in their lightning right now. All right, we'll see you guys. Good luck. Let us know how you do. We see some flames. Yeah, then we'll we're, know. we're definitely gonna win. Yeah, we're definitely. Gonna <laughs> I mean, win. these guys are gonna. They're gonna be like you know, car fire on ninety five South. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> electric vehicles really burned yeah, down a lot. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the EV burned down. Yes. Tom was making a pizza. We are coming through the toll booths here, Dad, and we're, we have both have Easy Pass, so we can rip through the high speed section. Um, Tom sounds like you know they're enjoying their pizza. I am truly enjoying some Doritos. We lost out on that deal. Yeah, but Kyle, I've got pepperoni pizza flavored combos. <laughs> oh, nice. So take that, Tom and Pete. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're getting pretty poor efficiency, Dad. 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour blows. Not good, and we've had crazy wind and rain and other things going on here, so it's actually looking like we may not make it to our first planned stop. Our gasometer has gone into the tank. Yeah. We're at 124 miles predicted, 141 to that station. So let's get it down. We're at about 53% state of charge. Once we get lower, we'll go to the farthest away station we can and do a charge there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say anything or let you know this, but bridges kind of freak me out a little bit. Yeah, I know they do. They don't do they break... freak you out? No. No? I don't mind the I don't mind the downhill. I don't like the uphill. See the uphill is better than the uh, downhill. No. The 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 uphill, because you're just you don't know. You don't know where you're going. Up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool lighting out here, foggy, misty. I mean, it's not the perfect road tripping conditions, but that's why we run these on the same day. So it's a race. Now we have a 50 mile an hour speed limit on the bridge. So you can go up to 60. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's that's pretty good math that's, right there. Thank you. I, Tra I, taught yeah. you well. Oh, I, yeah. I definitely went to Wait. school once. <laughs> yeah. And that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Well, there they are. Tom just went through the tolls and flashed some pizza at us, and we flashed back our pizza-flavored stuffed pepperoni snacks. Pepperoni pizza-flavored combos. I don't think his pizza's pepperoni, so we're winning. Oh, we're winning. For sure, but... Um, it does smell like pizza. You know, the here. lightnings always look so funny from, from the back because the motor hangs so low, and you can see these big rear castings underneath. It's just so beefy under there. And um, yeah, this is, it's a cool truck, I gotta say. I mean, it's so nice being able to spend some time in the Lightning because while I agree, Dad, it's not as technically impressive as the Rivian and uh, in terms of suspension and, and overall quality, you're right. It's an F-150, it shakes and rattles a little bit. It's got some, you know, typical body on frame feeling stuff going on. It is quiet, it is comfortable. The driver assistance is great. And um, I'm really loving the room that we have in this truck. Yeah. Oh, this is a great place to spend some time. Wow, that's so loud. Holy smokes. It's Speaking fun. of the sound system, Tom, hello. Hey, Dave. Hey, what's going on? So I'm curious, what's your state of charge? Uh, we are 47%, at... 47%, 107 miles of indicated range. And 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour. 1.8 miles of per kilowatt hour efficiency. So very good at driving efficiently. Yeah. We're at 1.9 miles per kilowatt hour. So you're slightly more efficient. State of charge at 121 miles. Uh, 121 miles. So our speedometers must be slightly off then, Tom. No, 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 no. Of remaining range. Oh, okay. How many miles does it say you've traveled? 125.1. Okay, so we're 0.2 off. off, but that's pretty close. Yeah, that is close. <laughs> Well, as we're passing a Tesla supercharger up there on the left, Dad, I've just entered in where I want to go. It's calculating, taking a while actually to calculate, but we're roughly 79 miles away from the supercharger that I put in in Springfield, Virginia. It's a 20 stall version three, officially open, of course. We have 71 miles of range, which means we do need to drop the speed a little bit and extend it. There's just so many um, options when you get in through Baltimore and DC and different route options that I'd rather get past all of that crap, get through the traffic and charge on the exit road, which means stretching all of our range. Well, we've just had a quick update with Tom and Pete. We are both in the same situation. They are 
Uh, they have 81 or 82 miles of range uh, indicated and 82 miles to get to the charger. We have 65 miles of range indicated. Interesting how much more efficient Pete is being than my dad here. And uh, however, we have 67 miles to get to the charger. So a two mile gap. So yeah, we're actually drafting a semi at the moment just to make up a little bit of buffer so that we can burn it and we don't have to worry about it later on. Uh, you know, so the supercharger, we're both stopping in Stafford, Virginia, the same town, except we're gonna be on the very north side of the supercharger and they're gonna be at the very south side. Of the town. Of the town, yeah, that's yeah. right. Not of the supercharger, right. of the town. And um, you know, I think it's 14 miles south so our goal is we just oh. need to get in and out of that charger as fast as possible no problem because we got to re we really have to leapfrog up because we need to be on the road and moving before they of course unplug because we need to get past them all right so a couple of questions for you first of all where we're sta stopping in stafford how many stations are there 20. okay so that's the odds of that not of we're gonna get we're gonna yeah, get a spot there's, there's uh, 17 available right okay, now. Okay, so we're not gonna, all right, we're gonna be good. Yep. And then he's stopping in an EA at a Walmart that has 10, I 10 believe stalls. believe Stafford's the one that has them all lined up. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I, I, I recall it. I think we've both been there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And then, uh, but two of them he said are showing as down, so that means eight. Well, that's fine, he'll be okay. He'll be all right. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, you know, doing this in the middle of the night right now, um, means uh, we're going to kind of, well, this is still peak time for charging. We're going to get there at 8.30 p.m., but the next couple charges will be pretty sleepy, but then it's going to wake up, and it's weekend travel, Sunday travel in the south, southern part of the U.S., which those stations all get full yeah. on Sundays. Yeah. So that's going to be real interesting for Tom and us down there dealing with the traffic at chargers as we get into South Carolina, Georgia, and eventually Florida. Yeah. So, all right, we... Uh, we will rock and roll 66 miles to go 63 indicated now we gotta chill 65 uh, 63 but we should probably take the easy pass so let's do that cruising into baltimore right dad yeah we're just at the tunnel okay uh, 8 895 there's so yeah. many different ways to go through baltimore or washington i never get it i never understand it yeah, <laughs> and that's you know so but anyway i think that the way we're going is the shortest distance probably the slowest speed yeah which makes the most sense and there's tom right up there yeah you gotta show that they're right there with I mean, us he's still. doing 63 and a 60. Just yeah saying. come on i Pete. mean in a 50 he's doing 63 and <laughs> yeah. a 50 which is uh you know if i do my math correctly that's 13 over yeah it's all good yeah. so uh there is an ea station actually at the supercharger that we're stopping at so if they can't make it to theirs we can actually stop in the same parking lot which would be interesting we should call him yeah he's got to know no, that. let him do his thing it's a it's this he's, doesn't I, I think he's pushing it though he's gonna go 14 miles south yeah that's fine you know Pete's so, a more efficient driver let him let him take so the what? we have just got our first warning driving range low 50 miles and 50 miles to get to the charger we'll burn as much juice in speed as possible but we'll keep as much in the tank uh, because again the superchargers uh, in this truck it's actually more beneficial to arrive at a slightly higher state of charge because of the boost profile by the way just as a backup where we're heading didn't you mention that there are also ea or um yeah CCA? right so we've got but we've... we can't use those we can only use superchargers Oh, well, so have, where have you been this whole no, trip? I, I, I thought we could bend the rules. No, we can only use superchargers. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I, I feel like maybe maybe you're losing it as you no, get I'm older. Not, well, you think that's a maybe? That's a, that's that's definitely happening. No, but that's not the point. I yeah. thought. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're that's right. crazy. That is the point. That is the point. <laughs> Now, what did you say the tower what do you think we yeah, are what is that thing out there called the washington monument well well that's a tower and you're telling me i'm losing it yeah you well know. you know maybe i should have showed up to you should study have our to school a little yeah. more often than you did yeah i mean i know what it is it's right there but it's a monument it's a big old white thing yeah big washington monument nice power plants right here <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful city we have Oh, oh, there we go. Look at okay, that. That's good a shot. shot. Wow, <laughs> that was sweet. Yeah, that was a good shot. That and was now, beautiful. iPhone 15 Pro. We'll give Apple the free advertising. Back to our, <laughs> back to our country's buildings here. 
some more views of DC. Yeah, it's a pretty city, isn't it, Dad? Absolutely. It's a gorgeous city. Yeah. Now, am I getting off here? Uh, nope. Out? Straight, straight, straight. Right here. Stick in this lane. Stay in this lane? For 10 miles. Okay. That's what it says. Turn left in 9.7 miles. It wasn't as clear as I would have liked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are just coming close to our charging station, 4.2 miles away. And you can see Tom and Pete went around the city, and we went through it. So... I don't know what their nav was doing, but uh, yeah, we're just maintaining as close to uh, 10 over as possible here. Over there, there's the supercharger. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's oh, looking man. busy, dad. Oh no. Holy smokes. Can we get to it from the backside? It's possible. Oh, it's jammed. Oh no. Well, we yeah, we need two spots or we need an end or spot. We're gonna be using four wheel Go, go, drive. go, go, go. We might have to four-wheel drive this thing onto the curb there, Dad. Oh, easy. Yeah. Easy. Oh, we got this end spot right here. Oh, I don't actually know if we can even take that spot. Here, let's go go down the middle. There's like no room here. Yeah, we can't take that spot. Kyle, I think I'm going to go around. I'm going to charge it off the backside. You know what? You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, we got to get this thing right, up so on the where curb. Where is... Wait, I gotta hit it from the other side. We are on the other side. No, no, isn't the thing on this side? Oh yeah, well you're gonna squeeze it in okay, here. Okay, so let me flip Hold it on. around. Hold on, go to the end again. Yeah. Okay, just go, go on the other side. We're just gonna drive it up over this curb and we'll plug it in right here. I'm gonna pull this plow stick out of the ground. I'm confused about what you're saying for me to do. Here. You're gonna put the left wheels, you're gonna put the right wheels pretty much on that curb. Let me move this plow stick. So the Lightning's a big truck, so he's gonna have to make a quick U-turn here, and we're gonna have him just kind of drive into this spot, but he's gonna put the wheels up here on the grass, and we're gonna just kind of nose, get the charge port right over here is the plan. So he's gonna have to pop the curb here. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is good. Yep, hard turn. Yep, all the way, all the way. Curb, <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay, come a little left, little left, little left. Yep, straight. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Go on the curb. Yeah. I think it'll reach. Will it reach? Nope, gotta go for it. Wait, hold it. Yep, throttle. Throttle. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be really gentle. Clipboard down. Yes. Hold on. Throttle. Yeah, a little more. Brakes. Oh. <laughs> turn a little, turn a little, little left, because you're just, yeah, a little forwards. Tiny bit, and we're good. Right. Adapter, please. Adapter? Where adapter? I don't know. Where's it's the adapter? Cool, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Where's the adapter? We got to get this thing charging. Right. Oh, you got it. Okay, got great. It right here. here, hold this. I'm going to get the thing plugged in. All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, test the supercharger plug into the adapter. All right, hold on. You got to... Let's see if it'll reach. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, so that's how you have to park at superchargers. Look at that, Look at that parking job. That was great. That's what you do. <laughs> okay, so come on. 5% state of charge. So how many miles did we drive on that leg, and what was our efficiency? We have to log everything. So how do you see trips and all that stuff? I don't know. Me either. Menu doesn't show you while you're charging. Does it indicate that it's charging? Yes, I believe it is charging, yeah. right? That's flashing blue on the charge yeah. port. Yep. And I think cable oh, cooling. They, I hear the charger. Yep, it's cable working. cooling is on. So let's uh, shut climate off. And we have to log the stats. So I'll come here, trips. Okay. Here's everything two miles. Yeah, two miles per kilowatt hour, 232 miles this trip, and we are juicing. I don't know how fast we're juicing. I have to use the Ford Pass app because it doesn't show you kilowatt rate in the screen. Do you have a pen? Oh, uh, well, it was attached. <laughs> <laughs> you were really... I know. <laughs> you I, were just... <laughs> I hit the curb pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> I it. And I just love how no Tesla owners even cared no, or looked at us. they were sitting there in their sleep. Yeah, <laughs> they did not even notice. This is like... Yeah, but this we did, history. but we are charging and we're not blocking a spot. No, we're not. 
we're, so we're, uh, this oh, we're so lucky this one on the end is open i know we would have been screwed Whoa. hardcore screwed i don't know kyle the red one or the white one which one's gonna move i don't know they're having a little, little russian standoff here. Uh, so if i come here this is the only way to see charging speeds officially is if i come here to vehicle we're at 10 percent now and i click here on details we're doing 158 kilowatts, which is the most we can do at this state of charge. Okay. So we're getting full speed. If we were at a fat, like an EA 350, as an example, would we charge any faster than this? No. Okay, so then that's good. So we got so lucky. I just ran into Pete. We got so lucky with this charge port location. Actually, some free Volta chargers here, pretty cool. Um, we got so lucky with that free open charger on the end, but uh, damn, charge port location, especially in urban environments. I was I was kind of brushing off the charge port location conversation. I was like, you know what? This probably doesn't matter so much. I think it actually does matter more than I was thinking. In a case like this, where this, this charger just got slammed busy, there's actually a line right now, uh, we would have been screwed. So uh, <laughs> thank goodness for four wheel drive. I gotta say it's day one of Ford being allowed to supercharge. Well, technically day two. This but is gonna be ugly. It man. feels awkward, doesn't it? Yeah, that we're, we're getting looked at like. Yeah. But you know what? We're a paying customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it definitely, yeah, it does, is, it's not a welcoming feeling. Let's just put it that way. It's yeah. a, a question of like, are you charging there? Are you able to charge? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this <laughs> we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. No, no, he's, yeah. he's trying to back in there thinking yeah. that charger is... Yeah, he's different. thinking he can squeeze in here and charge here, but we're charging here. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's all, all part of the fun. It, it helps to be six foot five and 50 pounds overweight. <laughs> <laughs> so, interestingly, at 50%, the truck is predicting 131 miles of range. But keep in mind, we just came in. We had a very efficient run towards the end because we really got stuck in traffic and low speed. So, this guesso meter is going to be off for what we're actually going to be doing in the future. Now that we're out of the metro areas for the rest of the trip, we're going to really be able to get some speed on. So I'm thinking we're going to charge to 65%. Uh, and then worst case, we arrive to the next charger with some extra energy in the battery, but then we'll get a benefit of some extra boost. So that should be okay. Uh, so no issues from my side. Um, yeah, I think 65% we uh, definitely will be able to make the uh, next leg. All right, Dad, we need another one or two percent. We're at 64%. 64. Are you sure 65 is going to do it? Well, we can always drive around the limitation. So we're going to let traffic clear, let everyone get out of the way before we unplug, of course. But one more percent and then we can hit the road. All right, well, I'm just going to stop our charging session here. Um, Dad, you got to hold the camera really quick because it's a two-handed to unplug the adapter. All so right. I'll unplug it from the car and then I got to hit a little switch in the bottom of the adapter. We have a couple cars, uh, go, things going on behind you, but just grab right hand down when you right. back out of here. I got, don't you worry, I got yeah. years of experience here. Okay, great, and there's Hold a car on. coming on your, your right side, around the back side. All right, if, just yeah. let me know if I hit anything. Yeah, I will. Okay, you got it in reverse, just go right hand down. Yep, and wait a second. This is so crazy busy around here, I don't know what's going on, this is crazy. <laughs> we really need everyone out of the way. All right, go for it, Dad. Yep, good. Keep turning right. Yep, hard right, all the way right. Nice. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> let me jump in the truck. Oh, wait, one second. I got to put up the, uh, I got to put back up their snowplow thing. I ripped this out of the ground so we could stop, but I don't know where it came from. So we're just gonna, uh, I don't know if that's good enough. Yep, I would say that's good enough. <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, well, I, I ripped that out so you could drive through. Let's go. Oh, I see. All right, that's it. Yeah. Well, that was easy. That was great. Yeah, we got uh, almost 80 kilowatt hours. All right, now what? What's gonna happen with this guy? Yeah, yeah. Does the adapter fit in here? Yes. Cop, that was super uncomfortable. Like, that's not gonna go over well. No. <laughs> the average per can you imagine what's gonna happen? Everybody, by the way, was super nice there. Yeah, they were all cool. They were all totally cool. Hey, I didn't know you could charge an F-150 here. Yeah. How about that other guy? Oh yeah, we're charging. You're charging? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, can I take that spot? I'm like, well, we're charging. We're charging. What do you mean you're charging? I mean, like, this is gonna get really, really interesting. And you know what was nice was we didn't block another spot. But we had we had an F one hundred and fifty to be able to go up on a curb. Yeah, if you we know, had, imagine if you had an IX or an, an, an I four pulling. No way. Right. No way. Yeah. Man, 
Yeah, it's going to get pretty... Oh, it's gonna we get... cannot get version 4 dispenser soon enough. Oh, no. I know. The long cables on V4s are going to really be the savior here. They're totally needed. All right. Well, come on, green light. This is taking forever. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was a jammed pull up. busy. Where's Tom? Can you pull up where Yeah, he yeah. Is? He's still... He's charging. Is he? Yeah, yeah. I just, just checked on him. All right. So, he's charging about 15 miles south of us. We've been off the roads for 46 minutes now. That's, I don't know. This is, if he plugged in and he's charging and he's getting a good session, this yeah. is going to be tight. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's be really tight. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, plug and charge work, adapter work, did not limit our speed. It was all good. What was the max we pulled? Uh, I didn't actually check. It was about 150, 160 kilowatts, something okay. like that. All right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, all good. Yeah, that, no, listen, that was, I'm, I'm glad people were nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I think for the rest of the trip, we should be okay, at least through the middle of the night when it's empty. Yeah, through the middle of the night. He yeah. said that one guy with the Model Y, the X, yeah. he said, you could not have picked a worse spot to do <laughs> Yeah, well, when we checked, it looked open at least. But Well, things have calmed down. We've loaded in the destination, 132 miles. The truck is predicting 175 miles. You're using hands-free with your hands on the steering wheel. Things are going well. And um, how do you feel so far, Dad? Um, well, I want to know where Tom is. Yeah, well, he's he's charging. Okay. I yeah. feel I feel like we got super lucky. I'm really happy. I mean, I'm happy that the charging session worked. The plug and charge worked. We pulled decent juice. Yeah, we got the maximum the truck could get. Right. And and so that's all good. But there's a real problem here with the charging cables and blocking spots. And that was a super busy place. Yeah. So. Um, but no, listen, it worked. We got creative. It's good. Yeah. I'm thinking forward, not backwards. Uh, yeah, well, so what, that's what I was asking. On this stretch, do you think we have enough range to be yeah, charged? Yeah, I do. I think yeah. we'll be fine. We can yeah. feather it in. I mean, so far, we're, we've been yeah, doing... Yeah, we're in dense traffic right yeah, now, but our efficiency traffic. will decrease as we get out of all of this. Right. That's true. Um, and I think the speeds will start to increase, but yeah. we'll, just, we'll just feather it in. Let me ask you, on how many options do we have before the next charging speed about 10 10 options well yeah, I mean, eight, that's, eight or 10 options well that's good but we need to hit this one because after this one is a huge stretch okay so we got to go deep we have to go one. deep on this one because okay. then we have one charger in north carolina and then after that we got to go deep again so we're going to be well, really so so what we really need to be able to do here is understand the efficiency of this truck so which we'll get a good grip we'll of once we get out of all this is we ended up at 1.9 miles per kilowatt hour on it, that last stretch it showed but two it showed two okay yeah. it did round up to two yeah and, and so far we're showing 2.3 just here. since we left the since first we left six right. miles and and we're doing you know just the, the speed limit here is 55 are you and, sure about that yeah i just saw the sign okay so yeah make sure you have it set there and i'm doing 63 but I'm, yeah. I'm behind this guy i mean i guess i could go around him on the right uh, uh yeah well, I'm still, I'm doing six. And there's a cop there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I think we're close enough. All right, well, let's uh, let's hit the road. Let's continue. And then after this, I'm going to try and get some sleep on this leg. Yeah. And uh, then it'll be you. I'm going to check in with Tom, make sure he's all good, and yeah. we're heading down the road. But I'm feeling good. Like, I'm not even slightly tired, and I was up till 2 in the morning editing last night. Yeah, so, well, good. Yeah, you better get a little bit of sleep, because I'm probably going to crash hard. Yeah. later on sounds good we just spoke to tom sounds like he had a good charging session he offered a lady 20 bucks to move her ionic 5 up to 350 kilowatt so he could use it um i, I guess she did it for free really nice that's awesome his station apparently was completely open dad yeah but there were two 350s and the one the, the one of the 350s was broken yeah one 350 was broken the, the ionic other one, five was, at least it wasn't a bolt Right, <laughs> an Ionic 5 needs them. Yeah, so that's that, great. absolutely, yeah. Um, and so uh, Tom may actually have been more efficient on that entire round trip than we have been in terms of time at the charger. So they're still charging right now, but we are still, you know, well, he, six miles up from He them. pulled in with a state of charge of 4%, as did we. Yes. But he also, remember, left with one percent state of charge higher than we did right and the reason we did that was for degradation right uh, but also i think maybe ford hides its degradation degradations in the buffer and we probably had less energy in our battery than he did yeah it's kind of what i'm thinking because our efficiencies were both 
two miles, miles per kilowatt hour. Yep. That's right. Yep. yep. So we had the same efficiency, but we had less range. It's probably because we didn't leave it 100%, 100%. But that's okay. We wouldn't have made it to the next supercharger anyway. This, this was optimized perfectly for us. So we're doing everything we can here. So far, first stop, second stop, third stop. These next three stops or two stops are going to be perfectly optimized. We don't really have an option. And uh, this now, is but he's, he's going for he's going what 190 miles away, yeah. So Tom's charging to 80 percent and stretching it, right? Okay. But you don't want to charge lightnings past 80 percent, they really slow down. All right, just completed our first charging stop in Stafford, Virginia, and I have the stats right here. The Electrify America charging station was at a Walmart and it was 0.9 miles off of the highway, which just took us. I mean, two minutes to get to. Uh, we arrived there at 8.54 p.m. We had driven 257.7 miles at that point. We got there with a 4% state of charge. We took in exactly 100 kilowatt hour of power. It cost us $35.64. We were charging for 45 minutes, although the, the whole time in the stop, we were there for 48 minutes. Um, took us a little while when we arrived there was somebody charging at the only 350 kilowatt station. There's 10 stations here. One of the 350s is out of order. The only working one had a Hyundai Ionic 5 there. So we pulled next to him, I jumped out and I said, hey, um, <laughs> I actually said, I'll give you $20 if you move your car. And the, they were really nice. They're like, we'll move it, you don't have to pay us. And they moved over and we pulled into the 350 and that made a big help for us. So um, it charged for 45 minutes. And in those 45 minutes, we pulled in 100 kilowatt hour, at least that was di dispensed by the station. Um, and we charged from 4% to 80% in 45 minutes. We uh, pulled out at 942. And as I said, that was a 48 minute complete stop from uh, arriving at the station to leaving. And uh, if you want to tack on the extra two minutes, one getting off the highway, driving there, and then the two minutes coming back, that would mean the uh, whole charging event uh, took us 52 minutes. So a little less than an hour to get from 4% to 80% and get off the highway, back onto the highway. And uh, Kyle's ahead of us now uh, because he stopped earlier, charged up, but we have uh, 212 miles of range right now. I know he doesn't have that much range, so, we're going to try to forge on to the next charging station 190 miles away. I know he has to make another stop uh, well before that. So uh, we'll see whose um, strategy worked out better. Kyle's electing for shorter charging stops, uh, charging at higher power, pumping in the, those electrons as fast as he can, and then making maybe an extra stop than us on the way. Um, we'll see what happens. But right now he is ahead of us, but we have a lot more juice in the tank. The Richmond, north of Richmond. You know that song? No. Oh, it's a great song. You wanna sing it? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we, you know, one thing we have to do, Dad, is uh, I think your infamous uh, Signet Surge dance, you need a cable gate dance. I'll do it. We, need, we gotta come up with one. No, I just gotta do it. I can't, okay. if I think about it, it'll suck. Oh, worse okay. than if I don't think about it. <laughs> right. By the way, the fact that people did not oh, shut me down. it smells terrible here. I know. That's what that, it's, they're burning off some kind of, yeah, I don't know nothing. what. We're going to live a shorter life because the, of this. The fact that I was not shut down as a YouTuber after that, after that Signet Surge dance, I figure I could survive anything. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, that's pretty bad. You were like, Dad, do you really want to put that on the internet? I said, yeah, why not? You go, well, I can list about 10 reasons why you might not want to. I just don't care. Yeah, I, I see that for sure. Well, you know. Well, yeah, I I'm, I'm feel like I'm missing out on the driving action. There it is. Yeah, the Marlboro. There you go. Boy, man, this town used to be... Well, Richmond's nice, actually. Um, I remember Alyssa and I years ago used to come up to Richmond from Raleigh to hang out. Is this where Max went to college? Uh, I don't think so. University of Richmond? Oh no, he, he went, went to the University, University of Virginia, Virginia, which is west of here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So, right. look at that. We're continuing on I-95. We, both you and I, have done this drive hundreds of times combined. I think. Oh, I yeah. I mean, 
the New York to Florida drive. And is. you know what? From here on, well, I love when you hit the Florida border. And George is easy too. South Carolina, yeah, that's like that's South cool. Carolina is two lanes, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's we won't we won't have well, any problems. Well for Florence they open up. And for Savannah it opens up, but that's yeah. Georgia. But it's course. just it's low E V battery. Oh boy. We hit 50, 24 percent. 50, 50 miles, miles of range. range. So we're, it's predicting about 200 miles on the charge. 36. I got 14 miles of buffer. We're good. Yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm pegging it to 70 or yeah. 10 over. 10 over. We're doing everything we can. That's great. And Fully optimized. Let me just see this. What, what do we have? 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Yep. And yeah. we've gone 100 miles since we left the supercharger. <laughs> Not the most efficient vehicle on the earth, that's well, for sure. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, it's, it's a, a big truck. truck, right? It's a truck. Kyle, what does this thing weigh? Uh, it's got to be high sixes, low sevens. Yeah, so, okay. It's heavy, but it's more about the arrow. Yeah. But I'd say it's pretty, it's honestly just about as efficient as my Rivian is. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, I was talking to someone the other day about towing in the cold with a truck. And it's just not a it's just not good, no, right? No, Like the Ram Charger, I can't wait to see what that thing's like. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. I've towed with my truck it's in the cold. It's just not fun. And, but this is a better towing vehicle uh, than the Rivian is because the battery doesn't overheat as much. So, anyway, off we go. We are now exiting for the Charger. So, 0.2 miles of range. We're going to start our clock right now getting off the highway. So, we're at 48 minutes. We can track how long this session will be. 14 miles of range, 7% state of charge. And we are going to be riding the charging curve on this one. Doing a deep charge, probably to 80% or beyond. I'll have to look. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this one we're going to have to pull pretty close up to. It shows no one's there. We should be the only one there. So that'll be great. Right. Tom's still behind us. Sorry about that. No, that's good. That's proper proper uh, race right. to it's Vegas driving. Time. It's game yeah. time. We're not fooling around here. Yeah, so where is the charger? That's what we need to know. Uh, I was just here. Oh, yeah? There they are. Great. Right there on the left. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Oh, so yeah. let's pull in here. Uh, it's 11.07 p.m. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Perfection. Oh, we've got this. Oh, this is so much better than before. Oh, man. I was just like, where's the stress? There's yeah. nobody here. Yeah, so you'll just have to... Uh, Which one should I choose? Yeah, we'll just choose this one here because there's plenty of room. to. So go all the way left, try and get that port up there. I'll put the front camera on. It didn't come up with the front camera. But you're going to have to go way close. Let me uh, get the adapter. All right. And let, you're going to have to go way closer, Dad. All right. Let me help you get up. Me. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Right. Oh, no, the adapter. Are you it's kidding? under the truck. What? Yeah. Um, where did it go? Do I need to back up? Yeah, but don't run it over. So go. Stop. Yeah, go straight back. Go straight back. Straight back? Yeah, straight back. Don't turn the wheel. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. This was not my fault. <laughs> Drop it. Go Drop on. test. It survived. Thank goodness. It's a little scuffed up. Go forwards. <laughs> All right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep, you, got, you got another foot and a half. You got to go. Don't break. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. And good. That should be okay. Here, hold this while I get it plugged in. All right. Don't <laughs> drop it again. I know. Holy smokes. What well, the heck? I, <laughs> you should have played more baseball. Okay. Got it in. And there we go. We're in. Yeah, you, this is as far. This is true. Count that. Count the, how what the handshake is. Yeah. So we've plugged in. I don't see any lights lighting up, Dad. Well, I'm in park. Yeah, foot's off the brake. Yeah. That that made the difference. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Foot on the brake? So now it shows it's charging, or no, it's communicating. Yeah, it may not have shut off with your foot on the brake, perhaps. No, fast know. charging. And charging. That's a fast handshake time. Yeah. 
Um, all right, well, actually, if you could film on your phone, I'll pull up the V Peak so we can take a look at speeds okay. and shut off climate control if you don't mind as well. Well, we just started charging at 1109. We're doing 150 kilowatts into the battery pack. And by the way, we pulled in at a state of charge of 7%. Oh, good. Glad you logged that. Okay. <laughs> yes, and we're at I 10 already. Yeah, I just noticed that. So now what we need to do is we need to look at our next stop, which is going to be, this is, I have not looked at this yet. So we're gonna come here. We're gonna go to charge your other EV and we have to go to Benson. There is nothing from here until south of Rocky Mount. So all the way down here, Dad. <laughs> How many miles is that? Yeah, I don't know. That's what we're gonna look. Oh, it doesn't seem that bad. Maybe 140, 136. That's exactly what so we did on, to get here. So what's the next one after that? Um, there's It's another gap. So the next one after that is going to be, so there's Benson. And to be clear, these are, these are the ones that are actually activated to work. Yeah. With well, we're going to have, we're going to have to stop there, dad. Oh, it's, it's gotta far. be another 136 miles. Hey dad, we're at stop number two. This oh, is so much better than before. This, this, <laughs> I think this is, uh, this is actually downright boring. Yeah. I this mean, is what, easy. Roll up, plug in and go. No All right, Kyle, what's going on? Well, if we want to try the 10 minute boost thing, now's be the time. We're down to 350 amps oh, and yeah. it's just let's, sitting there. Let's unplug. Let's unplug, replug in. We might be able to get another hundred amps. Okay. So I'm going to stop the session. I've clicked the unlock button here. Right. We've removed. Okay. Right. So we're, we're out. I'm going to give it a second. I'm probably going to cycle the adapter just in case. So let's do this, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, not that it should make a difference. Right. Back in the truck. We've plugged in, communicating. What, how many kilowatts were you pulling at that time? Did you notice? Yeah, about 120 or so. Okay. So now let's see what happens. It's gone blue. What does the truck say on the inside? This is risky because now we're losing time, you know? I understand. Yeah, it says you gotta click the pin here. So, still. Fast charging. Fast there. charging. So, it just kicked on. So, let's see okay. what happens. So, that was worth it. You think so? Definitely. Especially if it goes up to. Uh, <laughs> it's scary though, not charging when we're already charging. I understand. But if this goes to 450. Yeah, let's see what happens here. So, we're 310 amps, 366. We're above where we were. There you go. Let's go, let's go, come on. Uh, I don't know. No, it's not doing 450. No. So it's smart enough. It's a little bit above, but it's A little it's bit not, above, probably not that worth it. That was not worth it. Not worth it for the, for the <laughs> No, but that was a good experiment. good experiment. I don't think we lost time. I mean, I, it was worth it. Yeah. Just to so, see. So dad, the stretch actually isn't as bad to Benson as I was thinking. It's 134 miles down the road. And um, you know, one thing with the Lightning's charging curve is it once you come out of the boost, it just sits flat at about 120 kilowatts. And you can see here, we're out of the boost, obviously, 56%. It's still doing 118 kilowatts. So there's no reason for us to unplug and try and get to the next charger at zero, as long as we're still getting 118 kilowatts. Ideally, we would wanna charge until we taper off of about 120 kilowatts and then get to the next charger in Benson with as much state of charge as possible so that we can take advantage of the boost at higher voltage, which would be more power. So uh, we're gonna try and ride the kind of, not the bottom bit of the pack in a Lightning, you don't do that. You ride up until about 80%. So we're just gonna keep bumping it up, uh, you know, until we come off of 120 kilowatts and then do that hop. So if we were to leave right now, what state of charge do you believe we'll pull into Benson at? Negative uh, 10. Oh, so we, okay, it's not time to leave. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> All right, yeah. makes sense. We, we need another, another, uh, maybe another 5%, something like that. Okay, Because gotcha. we arrived here at seven, right? Uh, yeah, seven, seven, yeah. yep, seven okay. percent so, state of charge. Yeah, I mean, we've been ripping on the adapter. These are pretty big sessions. Let's go feel the uh, temperature if it's getting warm at all. Uh, I'm not sure, not sure if it is or not, but. Uh, is there a sensor in the adapter? Yes. So is the wet rag trip going to trick going to no, work for this it shouldn't affect it oh yeah the adapter is just let me feel it just warmer than ambient but not by much not by much and it's it's a lot cooler than the actual supercharging right. handle or uh, cable is right so no no issues uh for us here of using it all right but, uh, interfaces it connects quickly 
and in a station like this it's really no problem and this is this is a great experience the the amenities are amazing yeah it's a great restroom starbucks lots of snacks everything you need right in there oh yeah it's a good location and also there's a popeyes over there and a dog park and a dog park yeah oh yeah great all right that's good well so we'll charge here until we taper off of 120 kilowatts all right and, then and i'm going to take this next drive again i want you to sleep we can always swap midway if we need to but but i I'll, i'm feeling good now then you go I'm and i think i'm going to crash after <laughs> I'll, this I'll, I'll take on the second half yeah all right cool at 118 kilowatts We've put in 56.1 kilowatt hours, but keep in mind that's only on this first session. What's a little bit annoying is they don't show you kilowatt hours after you're done charging. So we have to do a little bit of math because I didn't take a screenshot of the first one, I don't think. Can't you just pull up Teslify? Uh, no, <laughs> I can on my Rivian now. There's, really? Yeah, they, the same service. Oh, but that's look good. at this, we're still doing 118 kilowatts into the battery. So that's about 120 probably through and the port. we're at port. 78% state of we're charge. at 78, so it just sits flat. And wow. one thing I've noticed with the charging curve is it doesn't just limit you to 300 amps. It does whatever it needs to do to just hold it at 120 kilowatts oh, after see. the boost. Right, okay. So um, what this means is when we get to the next charger, we should have you know maybe 165, 170 kilowatts if we get there with some power. Okay. I just talked to Tom and Pete and Pete's been driving the whole time, by the way. Okay. Uh, just like you have been, so that's I think fair at the moment. Right. Um, they they have to go a little bit slower. Their their stretch is a bit more than they could pull off. Okay. So we might be able to catch up. All right. Well, let's do it. Well, we we don't want to unplug until this dips, which we should dip. We're at seventy nine percent. So seventy nine point five. Let's see what happens when we hit eighty. As soon as we go, we're gonna jump in and go. So why don't you get in the truck, Dad? All right. And get yourself situated. Keep recording. All right. Oh yeah, here we go. There's the dip, 100, 100 kilowatts, 88. 88. Oh, we oh, gotta yeah. go, we gotta all go. All right, let's go. Okay, once he gets all settled and buckled up, I think we should be good. Are you all settled? Yeah, I'm Okay, good. I'm gonna hand you this. It hit 80%, here you go, here you go. That's when it did it, yeah, right yeah. at 80%. That's what it's designed yeah. to do. So I'm gonna click stop charging. We're gonna pull the adapter out. Here we go, handle back in. Look at this, look at that. Kyle's running. In reverse, Terry. <sighs> Let's go. All right. Start this thing up. Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> In the reverse. So we're leaving at 80%. Charging for the jar. Amateur. Uh, what? Oh, no. Oh, amateur. Go, go, go. Power charge for it. What the heck? Doesn't know power charge for it. Is it really open? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If that were me, you know what? I'd be in trouble. Yeah, you would be. But, Thank uh, goodness it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Right, I'm taking <laughs> See you later. Anthony? <laughs> He's awesome. Oh, that was great. Man. Yeah, that yeah. was he really drove, fun. He drove an hour and 45 minutes to come see us, Kyle. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, clipboard. clipboard goes again. Okay. Do you have the uh, adapter? Uh, yeah, the adapter is in here. Where are the headlights? Yeah, you got to put them on auto. What? It's a little rotary dial. How come it doesn't stay on that? Well, I turned them off. Oh, <laughs> well, that's why. And now it's dinging at us. Seatbelts. No truck. Look at this guy. We gotta go. All right. Well, I guess we're not in a rush because we're behind this truck. A great charging stop there. That is right off the highway. That's what we like to see. And we are matched up with the highway now. All right. Okay, that was a good stop. Yeah. Really good stop there. That was about 45, 50 70, minutes, but we did a deep so charge. 73%. From seven percent to eighty. Yep. How long we were there for? I'll have to do the math really quick. Okay. Yeah. But I mean that was a. We, it was forty-five, fifty on and minutes. Off was super close. Yeah, that was great. I mean, Rocky Point, where they are. Rocky Mount. Rocky Mount. Not yeah. Rocky Point. That's pretty far off the road. Yep, that is off the road for sure. So we win with charging station location on this one. All right, I'm gonna pop it up to eighty. Yeah, let's get up to eighty. Allegedly and, in Mexico. Right. <laughs> and and time to time to make up some distance on these guys. Definitely gonna be. We are 132 miles away. We're at 80 miles an hour, and our efficiency is gonna be poor. But we are gonna use the energy we put in. Yeah. So uh, what do you think, Dad? I think we're gonna arrive at a state of charge lower than what would give us the higher out, you know, the higher t ability to take on the energy. But we pulled out right at the right time. It's, I mean, having that 80% knowledge and confirmation from the V-Peak was, was smart. Yeah, you, I don't understand, like you really 
got to show kilowatt reading in the screens yeah, here for it. That's, that's crazy. That's just, I don't understand why yeah. they don't give you the data there. That's and then the other thing is, look, we got it. We got a little bit creative. I don't think it cost us. The boost uh, thing? Yeah, not the boost worth thing, it. But it was good we did it, though. Okay, right? but I could have also just called Tom, and he just confirmed when I was on the phone that it doesn't work. So, yeah, okay. not worth it. But anyway, all good. No problem. Worth a couple minutes. We showed yeah. the viewers. Um, but we are limited on our amperage. We don't get 500 amps, only 450. And But that's okay. I think uh, for the small benefit that we're in boost, it shouldn't matter too much. Our locations should help us win. And of course, uh, Tom and Pete are driving slow on this stretch because they might be having trouble making it. And they're off the highway at the next charger pretty far. Yeah, they are. So yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is the chance where we can overtake them. Yeah. Well, there's going to be many, I think. Yeah, maybe some flip flops I down the way. Yeah, I think this is gonna this is gonna go back and forth, but yeah, they're 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 in the lead for now. Right. But we're gonna be taking over real soon. I think so as well. Yeah. yeah, give us an hour and a half, hour and no, maybe just one hour, and we'll be past them. Yeah, I would agree. We're at stop number two in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, at the Sheets. We did get the 350 kilowatts unit that's available. There's another one over here, but it's not working. Uh, and I was monitoring it the whole way here and nobody was at these stations. Then about 25 minutes ago, I looked and someone was at the 350. So I was like, Ugh! but they only stayed like 10 minutes and left. So awesome. We're able to plug in. This is what we need. We need to get the 350 kilowatt stations. If we have any chance of beating Kyle, uh, it makes a difference. On a race like this and under normal circumstances if you're just driving and you're on a road trip it's gonna make a difference of maybe 10 minutes on your stop and in most cases that doesn't matter but you know when you're in a race every minute counts and uh, we're about 40 miles ahead of Kyle now um, but now he's driving and he's gonna pass us before we leave here we need to get up to close to 80% again I'm doing long runs and I'm hoping that that's gonna make me me us pete and i have one less stop than kyle that would give us the win we'll see how that works out so far i think we're doing good with that um all right we're going to uh run inside use the restroom maybe grab uh, a cup of coffee and uh we've driven about was it 450 miles now pete yeah, how many 443, yeah 444, something like that. about 444 miles something like that um and things are going pretty smoothly uh We'll uh, check back in when we have all the stats from this charging session. I plan to charge to about 80%. I'm gonna need that to get to the next charging stop. And, uh, you know, I think Dave and Kyle might have uh, bit off more than they could chew on this one. We'll see. Kyle, you're still in my rear view mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Out of spec update number two. We just left the sheets <laughs> which is funny because it's where Kyle used to live and uh, God four years ago Kyle and I visited that sheets during COVID when I drove down to uh, meet him I took a Mini Cooper from New Jersey down to his track here in North Carolina so um, that was pretty cool being at the same sheets that we were at four years ago um, we uh, charged really well there so we were there for let me take a look at our stats um, we were there, we pulled in with 1% state of charge and like, I think it was three miles remaining. We charged to 80% again. I'm doing these deep pack charges, which I know you're not doing, so uh, could come back to haunt me, but I'm trying to make longer stops in between, longer trips in between the stops. So I went from 1% to 80%. It took us 47 minutes to do that. We added 104 0.6 kilowatt hour to the battery pack and I paid $37.22. We uh, arrived there at 1226 and we were we left at 115. So that that stop, the Rocky Mount Sheets is three miles off of no it's about two miles, I'm sorry, off of 95. And it took us three minutes each way. So six minutes of driving just to get to the charging station and, and back to the highway. Um, and you add that on to the 47 minutes we spent charging and then a minute on each side, you know, unplugging, getting in the car. So, you know, that, that was um, almost an hour stop. Uh, now we're going to uh, the next 
uh, charging station. I forget the name of it, but it's 180 miles away. So that's why I needed to charge to 80%. Our last stop was 185 miles and we ended up with 1% state of charge. So I'm not leaving myself a lot of room here, uh, but I think we can make it. We'll monitor the speed and if we have to, we'll slow down. We did that in this last leg. We had to slow down for a little bit, which could come back to hurt us, uh, but we'll see how that fares. So that's the stats for stop number two. Right now, you guys are about 32 miles ahead of us, but we have 77% battery and I bet you're down to like 40%, maybe even 30% at this point. So um, you're gonna be pulling over in the next half an hour and we're gonna chug by you and we're, we won't stop for like 100 miles after you. So um, that's where we're gonna really, in this next stop, when you stop to charge, we're gonna get far ahead of you this time and we'll see if you could pass us uh, on this next uh, charging station swap. Talk to you at stop number three. We got headlights going, auto high beams were on, but I think you just cut them off there. And um, yeah. I'm gonna take a nap and see you all at the next stop in North Carolina. Oh dang, it's 1.40, we're just pulling off the highway, I'm just waking up, we gotta find. I guess, how'd the trip go? I was asleep. Uh, I don't know, I was asleep too. <laughs> the car drove itself. That no, was fine, no, no problems, no traffic. No crazy drivers. Great to travel this late at night. Yeah, very good to hear. So now we are in Benson, right? Am I going right here? Mm -hmm. Oh no, they got hotel guests blocking there, blocking up the chargers. That's crazy. So we're going to have somebody here. Yeah. Oh, it's a viewer. Oh, wait, don't crash. Okay. Uh, there's a viewer with a model oh, S. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go for it. Might have, uh... Right here. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's holding they, the spot. I think they held it for us. Yeah. We'll hit this. So now you can just work on, do you see the screen there? Yeah. It's getting the front blurry. end. No, but you just get it, got to get it right up in there. A little more. You got to keep going. You have the adapter, right? Right here, yep. Okay. So we're plugged in. And that is, you cannot pull literally any farther away than that and still make it. That's how close you have to get. Wow, that is just not good. <laughs> I mean, it. I wouldn't say it's not well, it's bad. Tight. You it's just, just you just gotta get up uh, close. You can see how much room you still have. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay. And there's some viewers here that had their Model S box, so we'll go say hey to those guys. Yeah. But let's make sure we're all hey, logged and good. Out. So, uh, yeah, all good. Well, we've met some awesome viewers here, and the truck is charging well. Take a look uh, over here. We are still in the boost period. Um, we're doing 160 kilowatts, 450 amps, again, is all we can get out of it. But we're going to ride this, and then we're going to charge it definitely up to 80 percent but maybe even more this is certainly going to be the worst charging stop of the trip because if you take a look here it's 171 miles two and a half hours ish to the next charger so we left at 80 percent the last charger we rode 10 over the whole way here we arrived at 11 that was only 130 miles right dad we gotta go deep we're gonna have to just probably charge to 85 and drive a bit slower because this is a big stretch to the next version three that we can use. Right, right. Okay, where's Tom? Yeah, let, I don't actually know. <laughs> so let's take a look at Glimpse and see. Yeah, because. So they... we've gotta be ahead of him, but not by much. Oh no, look at this, Tom's not far. What's his, what do you think his state of charge? He, he was at Rocky Mount, is that where yeah, he Yeah, he must've been at Rocky Mount. Okay, yep. boy, this is. I don't know how deep you went. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, um, yeah, so so let's take a look here. Okay. We're at 28%. By, by the way, last I checked, is this an EV? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> look yes, at that. Um, There's three three block in here. Hey, Tom. Hey. 
You're charging again. We are. So uh, we arrived at 11% in Benson. What what state of charge are you at? Right now? Yes. Uh, 61. So you're at 61% and you are got to be 10 minutes up, 15 minutes up the road from us? Probably. Wow! Yeah, I I honestly think You're, our, he's winning right now. Yeah, I think our. So we gotta we gotta think about this. Well, well, hold on, Tom. We have a hundred and seventy-one mile stretch, so we have to do a really deep charge here. Yeah, I mean we're we're getting we're getting uh uh a hundred and eighty miles plus out of eighty percent. Oh, that's good. So I'm going to charge to 80 then. Are you doing 10 over? Yeah. I think you're more efficient than us. What size are your wheels and tires? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. here's the thing. We're doing 10 over most of the way. But then if, if we get to a point where we're like, all right, we're starting to dip below the range that we need, then we knocked it down a little bit. Like the last 10 minutes of the last leg, we dropped it down to 5 over. Right, we can do that. So we're gonna yeah. charge to eighty, and then I can feather it in from there. So uh, should we? How many we, miles yeah. do you have to go? One hundred and seventy-one. Eighty will definitely do it. You, 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 we, the last two legs we did. Wait, wait, be, 80, be, be like careful. He should. I just would say, Tom, we, uh, be careful, Kyle. He's trying to get us to run out. Right, That's what's going possible. on. <laughs> I think we got to go to 85. Yeah. Well, well, we'll catch up with you guys. Thanks for the info. You're going to be going by us here pretty soon. So I'll keep an eye on Glenn. Yeah, and when you're done charging, tell, let me, tell me how long it took you to get to 80%. What, what, what did you plug in at? Yeah, I'll let you know. 11. 11, yeah. Yeah. See, the first time I went from 4 to 80 in 45 minutes, and now I just went 1 to 80 in, in uh, 47 minutes. So, yeah, well, you're charging way faster than we are because we did 5 to 80 in 49 minutes at the last stop. Yeah, we definitely charge better. You're, you're charging faster, and you seem to be more efficient. So, yeah. um, well, it, it's all part of the fun. Yeah, and, and I'm just thinking you just sat a little bit ahead of us. You're on your third charge, and this was only our second. So. Yeah, we are on our third charge. Uh, also, I did not charge up to 80 on the first charging stop, which I probably should have, but we charged up to 65%. Uh, 66, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, there was a full supercharger with a line, and I was like, oh, well, we can make it to where we need to go next. But now that, you know, we're, yeah, it, it didn't really leave that much time on the table. Kyle's over there talking to a couple of viewers that drove all the way up here from Cary. Really nice to meet you guys. And Tom is going to be driving by any minute now. And 95 is right over there. So we have an issue. Tom's about to drive by. We're only getting 72 kilowatts. Okay. 200 amps right now. And I'm wondering if something got hot. Doesn't feel like it. Do you want me to move over? But it's surging. You can hear the cable cooling kicking on and off. Yeah. And now we're going back up, and now it's surging down. So I think we need to unplug and replug because we're getting a signet surge here on the supercharger. Well, why, why don't we move over to the other one? Um, yeah, I'll move the truck over one. Um, well, now we're back up to 120. I do hear it surging. Yeah, but now it's sitting where it needs. No, now it's going down. We're getting the supercharger surge. Well, we have to give this a name. Supercharger surge? Yeah, basically, you can hear the cable going, zoo, zoo. I've seen this once before. Tesla Let's surge. Let's just see where Tom is. He's coming. Uh, he's coming right. There's the interchange. He's going to be right on the other side. So I'm going to I'm going to move the truck because I think we should at least. He's going to be coming from that direction. Yeah, Tom's coming from this direction. Oh, okay. I was disoriented. Yeah. So Tom is uh, Tom is not far away, coming down the road. But I'm going to I'm going right. to swap the truck. Around. Okay. Yeah. Keep an eye I did hear that surging. I didn't realize that was... Oh, well, that's not normal. Well... Uh, you gotta let me know. It's 1.30 in the morning. I didn't know how long it was doing that. Not way. long. Not long. I don't think. Uh-oh. How to stay out of trouble when you're on a road trip with Kyle Connor. I hope I don't get fired. I don't think he can fire me, though. I'm his dad. 
Keep coming. That'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can get plugged in before Tom goes by. Wow, so we've got... What state of charge are you at right now? We've got power, we've got surging. Yeah. Okay, we're in. We got a fire rate, your charge back up. 49%. 49%. Yeah, let's keep an eye on the roads here. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Okay, and are we back to charging? Not yet. It's just communicating still. So let's see if we're going to be surging. There it goes. Okay, we're charging. It's ramping. <laughs> there we go. Ramping up on charge. Seventy, eighty kilowatts, ninety. It's not surging yet. Cable cooling hasn't kicked on. There's cable cooling. Did you ever see this before? Um, yeah, it's just someone put a sticker on it. 135 kilowatts. <laughs> it doesn't look like a sticker. It, it's surging still. But it's not as bad of a surge. It's going 137, 127. I'd rather take that than... 141. Yeah, but it's surging. And I have climate control off in the vehicle. <laughs> Yeah, everything. All, well, it's it's on accessory power, but it's okay. You, just just hit it again, Dad. Just turn the lights off at least. There goes Tom. <laughs> See you, Tom. We're still charging, and we're actually yeah we're holding steady. We were surging, but now we're holding steady on the power. So we officially have got second place at the moment. We got a lot of work to do. I don't know. I think we're pretty close. We're very close with the amount of energy we have in the battery. So. I think we'll leapfrog him again. Yeah, we definitely will leapfrog him again. Well, we seem to be charging much more stably now after moving. I've only seen this surging once before, and it's when a temperature sensor in the handle actually starts to fail and send mixed signals. So hopefully this one won't fail on us and it will just rip and charge perfectly fine. So fingers crossed. Uh, we, you know, we don't need another signet surge situation with Tesla. Uh, but Tom obviously just drove by. We saw that on camera and I called him and we are at the exact same battery capacity at the exact same point. We were at 54%. He was at 54% driving by. So it does not get any closer than that. I truly don't know what to say. I would say our locations are probably closer to the highway, more convenient. However, we're not getting the full 500 amps and our truck is not as efficient uh, for some reason. It's maybe only 5% less efficient, something like that. But um, we're going to charge to 80 and then I'm just going to do whatever I need to do for the speed to uh, get us into the next charging stop at zero. So that is the plan. We're going to do a big stretch on this next one because we have no option. The next charger is 180 miles down the road. Well, we met some nice viewers. They're just heading out pretty cool guys yeah, they drove all the way um, here from Cary. and our miles per kilowatt hour calculation has bricked so i don't actually know our efficiency dad and this all reset huh yeah wonder why so do you know what the miles per kilowatt hour were when we were pulling in 1.8 that's what we got yes okay so let's do that here 1.8 so that's on a, each stretch but it does reset every time yeah it so was, it was definitely 1.8 we're definitely going to charge to 80 and uh, not beyond i will manage it from there so i'm going to get all the nav set up everything set up and then we can hit the road here we are at 79 percent state of charge still doing 115 kilowatts into the battery pack and um all is going well but as soon as we hit 80 we have a 170 mile stretch to Summerton. Now, my understanding is we are gonna pass a couple superchargers on the way. If it looks like it might get close, there's one that's brand new that we just heard about that might actually charge the lightning, because if it's brand new, it probably has the new DC meters and the comms module, and it might be worth it just to pop off the highway and try to charge there. I've just heard the cable cooling ramp down. We're ramping down here, so it's 80%. What time is it, 2.26 a.m.? 2.26, okay. So we are unplugged. Adapter is out. This is in. Close the charge port for efficiency. And we have to go. Come on. Okay, and we're out. So there's the adapter All for right, you. I got that. Thank you. And we have to roll. So Welcome to Race to Vegas style driving, my first time behind the wheel. I'm not doing any of this. Yeah, Maybe no, that's why we're losing. There's no stop sign there, as you can see. 
And Not at 2.27 in the morning there, is it? That's right. You don't really have to worry about it. So we're just going to... All right. We got the green light. And... All right. Time to jump on the highway. You got the timer on your phone that we're going to have to hit stop on. Okay. So let's see what we got going on here. Oh. We got, we got, a, got a police North Carolina <laughs> truck down there getting pulled over. <laughs> What do they call that? The Carolina squat? The Carolina squat. Technically illegal in the state now. Sadly. Well, we have 169 miles to go, 185 miles of indicated range. I'm going to try and get as much as we can out of this battery pack. Of course, we can always slow down to increase our range. No question we'll be able to make it. This will be the longest stretch of the trip. Uh, my first time getting in the Lightning on this trip. Uh, really enjoying Blue Cruise already. Loving the hands-free option. Just keep my eyes on the road and then it will take care of the rest. So very much enjoying this and uh, feeling energized, feeling nervous. I feel like we're at a slight disadvantage here compared to Tom and Pete, but we certainly have a lot more energy in our battery pack than they do at the moment. And um, we're gonna leapfrog them. I just wanna stay ahead. So every optimization, Dad, we gotta pull everything out to stay ahead because no question, they are getting faster charging and they are getting more efficient charging. Now, the only thing we can hope for is that in the morning, one of their EA stations gets filled up or broken. I don't know. Well, there's a pretty good chance of that. I mean, but you can't bank on it. No, I know. Not especially, actually, at this, at this, in these hours, these hours, two, three, four, there's nobody out. It's wide open. Yeah. So, climate control on or off here? I'm running off right now until it gets too crazy in here. Okay. Yeah. And a heated seat will turn that off. Yeah. That won't make too much of a difference. Well, listen, I, I just don't want to be blamed for us if we lose. You know? <laughs> right. well, that's the good spirit. It's because you had the heated seat on level one. <laughs> that's why we lost. You know, I could just hear it. And, and I just don't want to take that chance. Right. Yeah. So, well, we're, we're here to, uh, we're not here to lose. So this, uh, this adapter is quite warm, actually. Really? Okay, yeah. Can I, is, yeah. It, is it yeah. hot or warm? Not hot. Oh, but it's got some heat in it. Yeah, it definitely has heat yeah, in it. Yeah, I would say this is, this is what I would consider toasty. And the pins are, the pins are, I can touch them, but they are, they're hot. The yeah. pins are hot. Yeah. So that's something to keep an eye on. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's the kind of thing after two, three years of using something like this, you know. Yeah. crazy foggy on this stretch right here but we're finally out of the low speed limits and we are in for uh you know the 70 mile an hour speed limit i'm keeping it 78 i got a gap 113 estimated 100 to go but our speed's picking up this guy is about to kill us crazy he keeps driving off the road i don't know what he's doing but we're gonna get by him pretty quick say no thank you to that today and uh, successfully avoided death. Did we live? We lived. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so all good. We're just cruising through some dense fog. We'll pop over here. You can see how foggy it is because our turn signal's reflecting off the uh, fog. Camera always doesn't really pick it up that well, but staying vigilant and uh, we got some distance to cover. 100 miles to our next stop. All's looking great. There is south of the border. Welcome to South Carolina, folks. We are uh, only about 20 miles behind Tom and Pete. They're running a little bit slower than us. So I'm up to 80 miles an hour. We're booking it. Pedro! Well, there you go, south of the border. And um, that's my dad's favorite place right there. I'm so happy. So it's foggy out here, but that's okay. And uh, we're just hammering. We're gonna try and make up some time. We've got a 10 mile buffer, 100 miles predicted, 90 to go. We're just gonna keep it at 80 until we start to use some of that up. Speed limit 70, and uh, allegedly we're going 80, I should say. We are, you know, Mexico's beautiful this time of year. So, wipers, turn off, you're killing our efficiency. By the way, Bucky is my favorite, not Pedro. Oh, you're a Bucky's guy. Well, um, yeah, let's just really keep our eyes peeled through this fog. 
but things are looking good. And yep, I think Tom is really stretching it and we're gonna be going about 70 miles past him on this leg, Dad. So if we oh, can yeah. just get a lead here and maintain it, we might have the win. But um, we got a long ways to go still. Yeah, it says possible fog ahead. And then you can obviously see the fogs right ahead. That's using AI. That's very, very useful sign. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, I have eyes. Thank you. We're supposed to look ahead while driving. It's a good thing out of spec Dave is sleeping. Otherwise, he'd make us stop in here. <laughs> You're waking up. <laughs> oh, Bucky. Bucky. Put on your turn signal. Yeah, no, we're not We're not stopping. There is a supercharger there. There is. 16 stalls. But we're not going to stop there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, they also have public uh, DC chargers there. It looks like that's the Mercedes. Oh, that's brand new. Yeah, Tom should have stopped there at the Mercedes charging network. Yeah, he's really missing That's out. That's new. I didn't because it was weird they didn't had CCS there. Yeah. But Kyle, guess what they have in Daytona? What? A Bucky's. Oh, great. Apparently, I think it's the largest one. Right here off of this exit is Tom and Pete charging. They're just actually right over there, and uh, we are cruising through. Where the heck are we? Florence on Blue Cruise. Everything is going well. Truck's doing great. Speed limit dropped down to 60, so it helps with our buffer. 54 miles to go, 55 indicated. So we'll build up a little bit of buffer through the city and then burn it a little bit on the other side. Try and come in as low as possible. Just have to get out of the exit only lane. Definitely feeling the effects of a fog from inside and outside the vehicle, but we are not kicking on climate control. We're not gonna lose this race to a little bit of fog. So let's continue and uh, stick with the current plan. I'm losing. <laughs> so, you know, so you're ahead of us, okay. Yeah. Well, we're charging. What state of charge are you at? What, right now, 33%. Oh. On 129 kilowatts. Okay, I'm at 27. Okay, that might mean that I gained a little it bit on you It might mean you gained a little bit on us, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> But keep in mind, your boost is over, so you got to sit in flat charge. Uh, no, it is, yeah. I'm yeah. 15 minutes in. I'm down 128 kilowatts, so, uh, yep. you know, watching it, checking it out. But uh, it, this is, it's staying along the same as it did before. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll stay probably to 80. Um, yep. I don't know if I get antsy, maybe 75, but probably to 80. It makes sense. Yeah. And, um, and then this is a short stop for us now. It's only 108 miles to the next one. How, okay. how far do you guys have to the next one? Uh, we're still 50 well, miles still, away. You're still 50, but I mean, the one after that, how far do you go? Oh, we haven't looked yet. You haven't figured it out yet, no, all right. Yeah, there's some yeah, options for us. I've just been going us. one ahead. I've been trying to get, figure out one, the next stop after the current stop, yep. you know? Yeah, 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 so, that's... Uh, yeah, but then, but, but the, now I did the final one, too, because I'm like, okay, I, 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 which one do I stop at? I could have stopped at this 108, or then there was one that was like... 170 and I'm like yeah I'd rather just do the quick one now and then the, my final is like 160. Alright well we're back on the road after our third stop which was at uh, the Electrify America site in Florence, North Carolina. We pulled in there at 348 in the morning and we left at 437. We had driven 621 miles up, up to that point when we pulled in and parked and that was 177 miles for this leg of the trip. Uh, we arrived at 4% state of charge, the same as we did on the first leg, and we charged to 80%, the same as we did on the first stop. Uh, we put 102.5 uh, kilowatt hours, that's what the station dispensed. Uh, it cost me $39.66, and the actual charging time was 45 minutes. Uh, we started at 4%, we ended at 8, 80%. And uh, the time out, I, th I think I mentioned that already, I'm getting a little punch drunk here. Uh, now it's, uh, what time is it? It's 4.55 in the morning. Uh, we left at 4.37. And um, so uh, basically each one of these stops, the total time stopped was 48 minutes on the first stop, 50 minutes on the second stop, 49 minutes on the last stop. So very consistent. Uh, and uh, in all of the times, it's taken us uh, a few minutes to get to the station from the highway, and that's starting to add up. 
Uh, it was, uh, I think, two minutes on the first stop, three minutes on the second stop. This time it took us four minutes to get there. So you got to, you pay for that twice, four minutes going, four minutes coming. So that added eight minutes onto this stop, six minutes onto the second stop, and four minutes onto the first stop. That's starting to add up now. Some of Kyle's locations are uh, closer to the highway. Tesla does a very good job at locating their superchargers right off the main artery. It's not necessarily the case with Electrify America and other CCS stations. Sometimes you have to drive miles off the highway. And there's Kyle calling me now. Well, that's it for this update. We'll check in when we're right before our next stop. Obviously, we are filming and driving through the fog at the moment, but one thing is, of course, visibility is limited, but I have a little bit of slight reassurance, I hope it doesn't bite me, that the F-150 Lightning has a radar that is looking ahead. Vision-based systems like Tesla Autopilot and others, while I think they're extremely impressive in what they can do, just don't have a backup plan for really limited visibility like we're in right now. Whereas we're still in Blue Cruise hands-free and we are, um, you know, have the safety net of a long range radar looking ahead of us. Now that's not something we should rely on, but again, just a nice backup safety net. I can see that there's someone up ahead with their hazards on. And so we're just gonna be extra cautious, but uh, we should be, should be okay through here. Yeah, by the way, Kyle, I don't think Tesla would allow you to carry this kind of speed in this fog. No, they slow down for poor visibility. They de they definitely do. Yeah. And like, for example, if you if you look here, you can see we're coming up on some trucks oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Those are the guys that have been laying the laying the seeds all over the place. Yeah, here. someone has just logged fog, 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 I fog. I'm I'm taking it all off because it, you lose your stats. Yeah. And yeah. it's like no crap. There's fog. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're bored, Kyle. No, they get points every time they do it. It's the Publix truck. Yeah. There he is. You joined me at 2% state of charge. We're still doing 80 miles an hour, cruising along 10 over, of course. We're four miles away from the charger, and you can see uh, right here it's showing about 5.6% on the full battery. Now, um, usually the Lightning will shut off with about two kilowatt hours remaining. One to two kilowatt hours is last time I ran one out to zero. So I'm banking on a little bit of a buffer, but I think even then we're gonna plug in at a user indicated 0% using everything out of the battery pack here. So we're still three and a half miles away, but cruising along nicely and like I mentioned, just uh, we can't go any faster than the speed uh, limits allow, but just following the 10 over rule the whole way down from uh, the last charging stop is getting us there at the perfect state of charge. Keep in mind, we did keep climate control off this entire stretch, um, and that really worked to our advantage. We're now at 1% state of charge. Uh, we have a 35% power availability, another three miles left to go to the charger, but, um, yeah, everything seems to be normal here. Yeah, it's interesting that you didn't have to feather the the uh, speed when we unplugged at 80%, that the 10 over is exactly what you needed to do. Yeah, there was a couple times where I dropped it, though. Oh, you did? Like oh, okay. one or two miles an hour for five miles, 10 okay. miles, something like that. All right, so, yeah, I was sleeping for a little bit, so. Yeah, I was playing around with it, but for the most part, I think um, if we just kept it 10 over, we probably could have made it barely yeah i scrubbed a little bit of speed here and there right gotcha but close enough so okay. we'll get everything ready for this exit and then uh, we're ready to uh, exit for the charger okay fog has lifted a little bit yep it's popping to the right. no power availability we've actually run out of charge run out of power really yeah i'm floored and it's losing speed i've never seen this before in a lightning we need to make it to the exit. I don't know if we'll do it. Yeah, see it shows five kilowatt hours remaining in the battery pack. Holy smokes. Okay, not good. We are dying. We are dying. Why is it dying with 1%? Two miles of range indicated. It's got limp mode. That's. The, it's I just... hope so. I'm floored, but it's not doing any power output. Here's our exit. Okay. So 
we're at least going to limp off the exit and we can push it in worst case but yeah maybe it's just limiting our speed. Uh, it's just a, it, there's no way that that's you're it's probably limited to 35 miles an hour or something stupid like that well let's hope that's it's very not, abrupt and it's dangerous not, it's not adding any power my foot is to the floor right now we're off the exit okay so we just need to make it to the end of the off ramp which is a little bit of uphill <laughs> what the heck yeah it's completely dead but it's still indicating two miles of range and um yeah four percent state of charge and four kilowatt hours remaining in the battery pack huh look i'm floored completely it's given us two percent power limit but i'm gonna keep it pinned all the way into the supercharger so we can't stop here so no one's coming to the left or right i hope come on lightning you gotta climb this hill oh my goodness Holy smokes. I'm completely floored. We have to crest the hill. I don't know if it's going to do it, Dad. I think we're going to die right in front of the hill. This is not the same behavior I've experienced before with lightning. This is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're at four miles an hour. We're not going to make it. We're dying on the bridge. The yep. charger is what? Like it's right there. It's over there. All right, can you get out and push? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna push. Okay, let's go. Parking lights on, so we don't burn any battery. We gotta try and push it up this hill. My foot's on the brake. Ready, Dad? Yeah. All right, let's go. Is it not? Oh, it's gone into park. Here's neutral. Yeah, neutral. Go. Here we go. We're pushing. <laughs> we are pushing it. Yeah, we got it. Hell yeah. I think we're going to be able to make it. We're going to push it to the charger. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let me jump in and steer. You keep pushing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can make it. <laughs> what the heck? Well, so the I was saying I hope the BMS is calibrated. It clearly isn't. And, yeah, I know. This is crazy. And I'm just standing here, come, you know, piloting the lightning, standing out the side of it. <laughs> yeah, we're right up at the top of the hill. Yeah, it's starting to get easier. Nice. Again, I think the charger is just over here on the right. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Still pushing it. And we got cars coming. <laughs> okay this is the last little bit it's the texaco yes <laughs> oh we're just we're free rolling right now all right well i'm not stopping see you over there <laughs> what the heck oh no come on this is so funny just cruising along in neutral and I think, yeah, I think the charger's over here on the right side. Oh, yeah, I see him right there. There are the chargers. We're completely dead. I'm coasting in. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Okay, how do we get in there? So I guess we got to come down and around. Maybe I should pop the headlights on for a second. Nah, I don't want to kill the 12 volt. We're going to come in with some speed. We are motoring. Oh, yeah. Flying in. Yes, we have arrived and we have made it. Okay, let's get it right over here. Yep. Hell yes. In the park. Vehicle off. Hazards off. Let's get it plugged in. No time for delay. Where's the adapter? Right there. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> yes. Okay, I need two hands. Adapter in. We are plugged in. The adapter is in. We made it. Yeah, plugged in. But I but it's not so oh yeah, it's communicating. We're good. We're communicating. Yes. And are we charging yet? 
Come on, baby, charge. Come on. Yes, charging. Yeah! <laughs> headlights off all right let's check car scanner that was crazy <laughs> that was totally crazy yeah now it shows zero percent okay well at least the bms uh, we whacked this battery into shape now <laughs> holy smokes yeah ford needs to dial in their vms i agree totally <laughs> you can see we are charging 450 amps from dead really wish I knew what the pack voltage was. Oh yeah, 332 under charging. It's really not bad. I don't know why it shut off um, with an indicated couple miles of range remaining. Honestly, I've run a lightning to dead before and was able to go probably five miles past zero, which is why I wasn't really worrying about this. But anyway, we made it, we're charging. We're getting 180, no, 150 kilowatts right now, 450 amps. Again, we'd be getting 500 if we could at another charger, but uh, there we go. We have arrived to the freaking supercharger. That was insane. You know, just like ripping along at, at 80 and then we're like, ah, oh, 70, 60, 50. So anyway, I kept it pinned at you know, wide open throttle. It was giving me 2% power, but it was still showing two miles of range remaining. Um, and I made it off the exit and we died on the uphill right before the charger. So my dad and I pushed it, mostly my dad. I, I got it moving with him and then I steered it and uh we we pushed it into the supercharger and now we're charging oh, oh, <laughs> no <laughs> we almost needed you if you check twitter you'll see us pushing it into the charger <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, uh, we had all the data look good, but my guess is there must have just been a weak cell in the battery or something hit bottom voltage and bricked it and, you know, shut shut off the high voltage system. Kyle, I just want to oh, point no, out. I mean, you're already charging. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Hey, Tom, listen to this. Kyle's run out of juice now two times in his life, both in F-150s. Yeah, that's right. I've died <laughs> twice in lightnings. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess you should know it runs out with two miles left. So we knew this coming into this stretch that uh, really stretching the range of the lightning was going to get us here at very low state of charge, of course, and that we wouldn't get much advantage from the boost because, again, we only get 450 amps and our pack voltage was going to be really down low. Uh, the thing is, this was our only option, of course, because that was the stretch of open superchargers. So it's not like we passed any chargers that we knew we could work, that we could get the truck to work out. Now, it's possible that one of the new superchargers that was just built that we drove past could have worked. But I think this was the safest option. And it's true to the spirit of the Tesla chargers that are approved for use by Ford today. And that's what we're trying to show, of course. Um, in the near future, as in the next charging stop, we will be arriving with much higher state of charge. So we're gonna be eating a deep charge here. It might be almost an hour, something like that, 50 minutes to get from zero to 80%. Uh, now that we're out of our boost period here, and then unplugging and replugging doesn't make a difference. So now that we're out of our boost period, we will be um, you know, charging up to 80 and then the next stop it's only 112 miles away where we're going to go. We could stretch it another 175, but doesn't make sense. We have to stop two more times to go anyway. So we'll do two shorter stops. We'll get a boost mid charging session, you know, maybe around or a mid state of charge. So maybe around 20 or 30%. And that's when we'll see the highest charging speeds of the trip at the next stop. I just have one request. Whatever your plan is, can I not push the truck again? <laughs> right, yeah, sure. Well, I think actually now it should be more accurate if we run it to zero. <laughs> <laughs> because now it knows what zero no, is. I'm not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tom and Pete are about to pass us and uh, we are charging, of course, we're at 52% state of charge now and we are really going slow. Let's see if I can pull up the 
car scanner app so I can show you guys. Yeah, we're, we're only doing 110 kilowatts instead of our normal 120, and we're just limited to 300 amps. I'm not sure if it's because our high voltage battery is maximum 40C, although I think it'll let it go higher. I think this is just a charging limitation that we're running into here, just the 300 amps because we started so low. Essentially, he's passing us, and so our next stop um, yeah, it's only going to be 110 miles away, something like that. So, where, where, what is our next stop? Yeah, I can show you. Let's just see what state of charge Tom's at. Tom's at 54 percent, and we're, we're at, at 53. 53. <laughs> so that's it's so, so close. dead even. So close. <laughs> yeah, wow. And they're doing 80, so it's it's dead. We're at 54 percent as well. That's crazy. Yeah. How many miles are we into the trip now? Um, the whole thing were 668 miles and it's dead even. dead even. So it's all going to come to the optimization part, which we're kind of losing out on right now, only getting 110 kilowatts. Our next stop is going to be, I mean, I really have no idea how this is all going to play out, which is great. Uh, our next stop is going to be this one down here. We're going to go to, um, let's see, Pooler. Oh, Pooler. Yep eight of eight stalls available and then after that we'll probably hit one of these outside jacksonville and then down to daytona beach okay and have we actually decided where the ending point is going to be uh we'll figure it out but it plus or minus near the racetrack uh the daytona racetrack but okay this is 178 miles if we were to stretch it to brunswick uh, and it's a 24 stall which is great but i don't think we can really do that at 80 the whole way Keep in mind, we had a lot of construction on this leg that we had to go 70 for. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we're just going to hop, keep the pack up in that higher. So we're, we're going to take the L now. we got to charge up to 80, and then we can rip the next couple stops. We are now charged up to 78% state of charge, which means we're going to be coming out of our boost, or our boost, our charging performance here in a moment, doing 114 kilowatts into the battery pack. It's been a long charging session, Dad. Yeah. Uh, we started at 447. It's 540, so almost one hour. Yeah. Yeah, and so that's what happens when we start really low. So like I said, we really knew we were going to take an L on this one, but we're setting ourselves up for a photo finish for a real quick next couple stops uh, because we're going to basically do some shorter legs and keep the battery operating at least for the next two charges at the higher state of charge range. And that's going to get us the uh, to Jackson. Where the heck are we going? Daytona. The yeah. fastest. Okay, so we're almost at 79%. We're almost at 80. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I was looking at the wrong number. Okay, well, let me know when that drops, and I'm going to unplug, and then we're going to hit the road. Okay, ready? Yeah, I just heard the cable cooling ramp down. So you can just listen for the cable cooling. That's yeah. cool. That's a good little trick. And we're out. Drop the phone. Adapter. Get ready to film, Dad. Here you go. No, you're, I'm gonna, just gonna hand this to you. There you go. All right. Okay, we're in, in the reverse, Terry. You know, not all photos at the finish are pretty. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just saying, like, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought this was gonna be, like, not even a challenge. How could there be traffic at 5.41 a.m.? It's all the guys putting their bass boats in. See that? Yeah. Look at that one, pontoon boat. Hey, it's rolling coal on us, nice. <laughs> uh, we gotta go south to Florence. Yep. Charger port door ajar. Gosh, why do I keep forgetting to? I think you can, can you reach it from the? Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna, give me one second. You don't even need to go around the door. There you go. I guess I'm so used to my Rivian that just I know, the same with the Tesla. Yeah, well, let's get your phone plugged in. Let's get everything set. All right. We're going to hammer down 80 miles an hour, and uh, we got to catch Tom and Pete. All right, let's do it. Tom is right off this exit charging at the Walmart in Walterboro, and we still have 66 miles to go. We have 55% state of charge. We are back in the lead and we have quite a bit of battery in the tank. So I think we set ourselves up for a successful second bit of the trip here. The sun's just about to rise. It is 6.20 in the morning. We, uh, we're back in the lead, baby.
this is what we needed. Oh yes, now we can ride the boost as much as possible. Hopefully have a good experience with the superchargers the rest of the trip. Two more stops, I believe. All right, this is the out of spec check-in. After charging stop number four for Team CCS1, we were at the Waterboro, South Carolina Walmart, and we arrived at 6.01 a.m. We were at 29% state of charge. That was the highest state of charge we've arrived at any station yet. The first station, we were at 4%, the second one, the third four. I mean, we've been draining the pack, but this was a short stop. We only drove 103 miles. Um, so we were at 29%. It took us 28 minutes to get to 80%. We had 69.5 kilowatt hours dispensed. It cost me $31.30. We left at 8.31, so we're there 30 minutes in total between the charging and getting in and out of the parking lot. But I've got good news for you guys. It was a big uh, complex, and we didn't know how to get out. I mean, we've never been there before. It's a big trucking stop and, uh, and, and everything. So we just followed Google. Google didn't take us right out onto 95. It made us drive five miles of back roads and then come out on 95, like three miles further down the road. But it took us like 10 minutes to drive those, you know, five miles. So I think you guys just bought five minutes. I think that just negated your running out where you guys had to push it to the charger because you said it might have taken four or five minutes. So honestly, um, I think we're even now because that gave us the advantage when you guys ran out on your last stop but now our mistake um by just riding five miles of back roads at like 45 50 miles an hour uh, just gave it right back to you so we're level again um you guys are ahead of us at this point but you need to stop two more times we just need to stop once it's going to be a long stop for us but we just need to stop once and you have two shorter stops so Man, we've been saying this all video, but it's true. This is gonna come down to a minute at the end. And um, um, I think we're gonna win. We'll find out pretty soon. Pete, what do you think? Pete's been a champ. He's driven the whole way, 745 miles. He's just cranking it out. The guy's a rock star, literally. You know, we know that. But. Uh, so my, How my, you feeling? My time of night. Oh, it's, a, it's about my bedtime now, 7 o'clock in the morning, I suppose. We're rock and roll. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm beyond tired. I'm not even tired. I'm like a wide awake now. I was tired for a while. I was starting to nod for a little bit on that last leg. But now it's, it's uh, daylight and, uh, you know, I'm invigorated by the fact that it's, the numbers are starting to add up for us. I think, I think we're going to beat them. I think we're going to beat them by maybe 15 minutes. We'll see. It but, depends, uh, I think it depends on how crazy Kyle is. Yeah, yeah. If he just, well, yeah, he can't be that crazy. We have limits on how fast he's allowed to yeah. drive in that last uh, in that last true. segment. So you know, and we could watch him, you know, on glimpse. Yeah. That's so true. you know, no, uh, judging when you know if he sees us coming at that last charge when yeah. we go to pass him, if he says, well, that's All right, what he's going to do. Damn the torpedoes and pull, they're going to be watching the and, because as we approach them on that, we'll be behind them uh -huh. on his last stop. And as we're approaching him, he's gonna have to get in front of us. Right. Because if he doesn't get in front of us, he can't win. Right. So, um, yep. and that's them texting us. So, all right, uh, next check-in's gonna be at the Brunswick, Georgia, Walmart station. All right, Kyle. We are coming into Georgia. The nice thing about that is, wait till you see it, as soon as you go over this bridge, it's gonna go to three lanes instead of two. Which at, at seven in the morning on a Sunday morning, no big deal, but <laughs> I know, boy, oh boy, can't see the river down there at all. So, and it's amazing how many people are trailering. Yep, welcome to Georgia. There you go. How many people are trailering their bikes down to Daytona for Bike Week? Yeah, absolutely. So we have. We have set the final destination location. Yeah, we were gonna do the speedway, but because of bike week, it's getting crazy. So we're thinking there's just a Bucky's one exit up. So we're gonna do that. Or is a, there's a Bucky's one exit up that has both Tesla and CCS and beef jerky. So we're all set. Yep. All right, Kyle.
Well, we are 0.4 miles away from our exit. We've given up on timing the off-highway back on thing. The Ford Pass app saves all of the time that we've been at a charger. But uh, yeah, here we are one mile away from the supercharger, just kicking it off Blue Cruise here. We have 25% uh, state of charge, which means this is the highest we've arrived to a supercharger all trip. It means we should get the fastest charging speeds. Charging the Lightning is so counterintuitive to the vehicles I'm used to. Now, the supercharger, Dad, we gotta find it because whatever we put in here may not be 100% accurate. There's the EA station on the right. Yeah, that one I'm very familiar with. Right, where is the supercharger? Hang a right. Uh, no, Sam's gonna, Club across the street. I'm not gonna risk it. Hold on, let's just go hazards here really quick. Oh no. Ugh. We can't miss it. Where are we? Why is Waze, sometimes Waze freaks out. It is to the right. So let's go this way. All right. Yeah, sometimes when we put the destinations in Waze, it just doesn't pick up completely. Huh. Okay, so it's probably yeah, right I mean, I've got the exact address in there, yeah. which is which is strange. Yeah, you can see it just goes to the middle of the parking lot there. This one says we got to go 0.7 miles up to Outlet's Way. So this one's a little bit off the highway, more off the highway than the EA station. Yeah, but there's only, I think there's only four there. That's right, but uh, this bit, seven in the morning, that's all you need. All right, nobody's here. No one's here, good. That's beautiful. This is a nice supercharger. Yeah. The Dairy Queen, that's beautiful. Love it. Okay, so we can really take any one of these that we need to. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna back it in a little bit, or back it so we can get it straight on. Oh man, oh man. That's how close you have to get. There it is. Yeah, even that stretching the cable. Cable's fully stretched. Okay, 25%. Let's take a look. We are plugged in. We will come here to car scanner. So let's see how fast this thing will charge. It's communicating. Yep, contactors just clicked. That was a pretty good stretch. If I come here to trips, now our trip computer is working fine actually. Ramping up, that was 115 miles, 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour. That's what this thing gets at a solid 80 the whole way. Right, right. 400 and... Yeah, this will be the highest charging power we see. 432, 4... 152. Mm-hmm. So we'll probably get into the 160s before it tapers. Maybe if we're lucky, one 165. Yeah, that's 446, maxed out. 157. Yeah, 157 kilowatts. And so as the voltage comes up, we'll get more uh, more power over the next 10 minutes. All right. Cool. I got to start working on the rest of the trip plan. I'll let you know what we're going to do. All right, cool. All right, so Pooler, Georgia, here we are. Kyle, how far, how far have we gone already on the trip? Um, 784 miles. 784 miles. And how far is it to Bucky's in Daytona? 222. 784, 222. All right, so that's just going to be just over, just over a thousand miles. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What are we pulling now? Uh, let's take a look. We are doing 161 kilowatts. So still getting our 450 amps. So nerd stuff for a bit. Uh, yes, we could just charge to 80 here, but I just looked, we wanna leave the next stop, which we're stopping in Jacksonville. And, and then we're gonna go 98 miles to the Bucky's. We were going to end at the um, Daytona International Speedway, but with bike week going on, it's gonna be crazy. So we're gonna end at the Bucky's. We need uh, roughly 50% to go 98 miles, leaving the next charging stop which means we actually want to go, we wanna make sure we get our full 10 minutes of boost. So we might leave here early at like 65 or 70%, just so we can get the 10 minutes of boost at the next charger and then leave. 
that way we we're not leaving with boost on the table essentially so yeah i'm gonna do some quick nerd math stuff here and do some estimates but we'll be we'll be close either way so at least at these power levels without 500 amps we get 20 percent state of charge starting at 25 percent up to 45 percent we're just coming off of boost right now what that means is since we need 50 percent at the next charger ideally we would arrive at 30 percent state of charge boost to 50 and go. And I think with it being about 120 something miles to get there, um, we're going to be targeting a 30% arrival. I think we're going to leave just around 80% state of charge and we'll still be under 30% even if we do that. So I think the plan here stays the same. We'll charge to 80, get to the next one, charge to about 50 and then hit the road. And Tom is on his way to his last charging session. Uh, he's just crossed into Georgia right now. And so he's not far up the road from us at all. Tom is actually, um, I can show you here. He is basically right on, he just crossed this little river into Georgia. So he's right over here and he's gonna come by us, but he's gonna do a deep charge right at the end. And we're gonna basically do a quick top up here and then a quick top up again, really quick one on the next one and see if that can beat them. That's that's our only way because we can't make it to the finish line. It's over 220 miles from here unless we do 100% charge. We're not going to do that. So we still have to do one more charging session after this one. All right. So we are juicing up. We only have another couple percent left to go. We're at what? 71% now, dad? What's that? What percent are we at? Should 71. be 71. And um yeah, so we'll charge here to 80. Hopefully we'll arrive at the next charger somewhere around 20 to 25%. We'll ride the boost and uh, it's gonna be timed pretty close that right when we come out of the boost, we might have to wait a couple minutes, but we'll have enough to get to the next charger. And that's how we beat Tom. This is the only way. <laughs> You tell me what to do, I'm driving it. Yeah, so uh, Tom's gonna have a long stretch. He's gotta charge up to 80 at the next one. We only need to charge to 50. He's also gotta charge, in, what he told us, he's got wherever he's going, he's going to a, a CCS EA that has four and one is already down that he knows. Well, that means three are working on a Sunday morning. That's pretty good. That's all you need. No uh, one's here right now. And a lot more people drive Teslas than any other EVs. But he's not gonna get there until 9.30. Okay, so yeah, I mean, we, we have a chance. We really have a chance if we really optimize. So you're gonna take on this leg yeah. and uh, I'm gonna get a nap in so we can be sharp for the final yeah, yeah. bit. But uh, I wonder if this is what's hurting our efficiency. Just all the air getting caught up in here. That's what's doing it, it's not my driving. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not your driving. It's We're definitely less efficient than Tom, but um, we wanted to keep it fair with the tonneaus open. Yeah, but I wonder if this and that, maybe it is causing a drag yeah. of some sort. Yeah, this, this could be messing us up a little bit, but, but you, whatever. There's no way to take this thing off, right? Uh, we, could, we could remove the whole thing, but um, I don't know. I thought this was close enough because it's designed here? to come in here. It just says it's going to shut off. It's fine. Oh. Yeah, so we'll keep an eye on everything while it's charging. Yeah, so by the way, the trip summary... It was 115.7 miles, 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour, two hours to get here. And we were we were we were really pegged at 80. That the whole time was yeah. 80. Yep. All right, guys, we are uh, almost ready to go. We're at almost 77 percent. You can see we're dipping under 300 amps into the battery pack. Um, yeah, what I'm thinking is perhaps Tom says he's been consistently getting 120 kilowatts to 80. And I'm noticing we're just under that. And the adapter per Ford is rated for 300 amps nominal. So I'm thinking that the supercharger must be counting the amount of time because the truck certainly is, isn't doing it, I don't think. And, and the adapter is just a dumb adapter, but it's possible the supercharger knows, hey, you pulled this much power for this time and this much power for this time, and uh, it might be derating us. And that's where maybe switching to a different supercharger altogether could help it's not worth playing around with now but maybe uh something to experiment with for sure um dad why don't you get in the truck and get the next spot programmed in i have it in my phone here okay uh, and i'll get us unplugged and we'll be good to go here all right pretty sounds, soon. sounds good we just tapered we're at wow all the way down to 50 kilowatts here at 80 percent so we really got to hit the road so i am unplugging i'm going to close the charge port this time we are going to remove the adapter come on Oh no, it's locked in there. 
There we go. <laughs> <laughs> adapters, I'm not like an adapter. <laughs> Why is this asking me for a passcode? Yeah, don't worry about it, because just hit the start button and throw oh, it in because you device. had the key? Yep. Okay, gotcha. All right. Go. Here, take just, this thing. Yep. All right. How am I doing? Good, yeah. We, we want to arrive. We want to be as efficient and swift on this leg. So, okay. yeah. We've got 124 miles to go, 181 projected, but we're trying to arrive with as high state of charge as possible to get our boost. By the way, 62 degrees out here. Yeah, it's nice. nice. I don't understand how that's possible. We're going to get faster charging because of it. Be well, yeah, and, and I know. You're going to push it all into the last charge. Yeah, the last charge. Is, it, it all comes down to the last charge. By the way, we need to make sure we arrive at the last, at Bucky's. Zero. <laughs> no more zero. No more zero. We got to arrive there with 2%. With this truck, I don't trust this truck. Yeah, zero is fine. No. It learned what the bottom no, is. No, it did not. It's yeah. no. All right, so here's the situation. Uh, we've got Kyle asleep over there. We are 57 miles away from Jacksonville, and Tom is actually charging off this exit a good mile or mile and a half from what it seems like. We've got 104 miles in the tank, and... The game is clear to me. Um, we need to charge one more time. Yep. And Tom is on his last charge. Yep. But he needs to do a deep charge right now. So what we need to do is get to Jacksonville Airport charging Tesla um, as, as quickly as we can. We're doing according to the rules. And as long as we're able to leave before Tom catches up to where we are and we have enough juice in the tank to be able to get to Bucky's and Daytona Beach, we will have the win. I see it. I just don't know if it's going to happen or not. But that's the game right here. It's unbelievable how close this match is. Um, so we'll see what happens. Kyle, I'm sorry to wake you up, but this uh, this had to be done. Um, any Anything to... Yeah, you look like you just woke up. No, I just did. Yeah. So, yeah, you great. were cutting some wood over there. I mean, uh, but uh, yeah, no, this is exciting. It really is, and we'll see what happens. Any any comments from you, sir? Uh, I think uh, that there are definitely some bugs with the supercharger network that need to be worked out pretty quick. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Well, listen, I think that if there were, if this was a different time of the day, um, there's a lot of ifs, you know, and permutations, but we're doing what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, we were doing this in the middle of the night, and do this in the middle of the day. Yeah, it'd be a whole, be a whole different, yeah, story. But, um, you know, look, I thought this was going to be much more of a blowout between CCS and this, and, it, and it's not. Tom's had good relatively good better charging than we've had Tom's had great charging right yeah all right so that's that um here we are in the gibson creek and we are ready to plug in one last time so let's do it all right we're on the final leg we just pulled out of the final charging stop that was our fifth charging stop we had to stop five times driving 1,000 miles from New Jersey down to Daytona Beach, Florida. But Kyle and Dave had to stop one extra time than we did. Uh, so they are still driving. They're ahead of us now. I think they're about 20, 25 miles ahead of us, maybe even 30 miles ahead of us. But they still have to stop one more time to charge. We just don't know how long they have to stop. Will we get to their stop point and pass them before they get out onto the highway? I'm, we don't know that. Um, we've been tracking each other on, um, what's it called? Uh, Glimpse. Glimpse. Uh, for this whole trip. But for the last segment, we agreed we'll shut off the tracking so we don't know where each person is. So I have no idea where they are. But I know they are about 25 miles ahead of us. So let's talk about the last charging stop because we've been doing all the charging stops. We went to Brunswick, Georgia. We're at the Walmart there. Uh, we got there at 824 in the morning. We had driven... 860 miles at that point uh for that leg was only 136 miles 
uh, our state of charge on the arrival was 18%. Uh, we accepted, or the station delivered 78.9 kilowatt hour. It cost me $10.89. We were there for 35 minutes. Well, we were on the charger for 35 minutes and we left at 76% state of charge. I did wait to 80 because we have plenty in, to get there on the end and I didn't want to waste time. So all in all, we, we, we um, took 38 minutes to park, get out, activate the charger, finish it, and then pull out. But then there was also another delay, which is might hurt us. I th it, it definitely hurt us, but it could cost us. This uh, Electrify America site was three miles off the highway, and it took us over six minutes each way to get to and from it. So that's 12 minutes. One of the things that Kyle has as an advantage, Tesla is fantastic at their locations for their superchargers. And most of his stops were right off the highway. I mean, he just pulled into a parking lot practically. And, and we've had to drive, I mean, I'm gonna total this all up. It's probably more than a half an hour of time that we drove just from the highway to the charging station and then from the charging station back to the highway where I bet Kyle spent less than 10 minutes doing it. So I think we got hit with like a 20 minute penalty because of the location of the Electrify America sites versus the Tesla superchargers. But that said, I can't complain of anything about Electrify America. This has been the best Electrify America experience I've ever had. Every single one of these five stops weren't perfect. And every charging session, it was nearly identical. I could almost just look like we copied each one. The stations delivered the maximum power, no glitch. They connected relatively quickly and uh, never had a single problem with them. This was as perfect as we could do. And we needed that to beat the Tesla supercharger network. We don't know if we're gonna beat it, but we, I knew we had to be perfect on Electrify America if we had any chance of beating Kyle with the lightning on the supercharger network and the adapter. So that's where we are now. We're just about ready to cross the uh, Florida state line. Kyle's already in Florida. And we just don't know at this point how long he has to stop to get <laughs> enough energy to make to the final destination. So um, it's gonna be fun, but uh, I think we're gonna win, I really do. And I, I'm, I'm still, I'm kind of giddy about this because I never, never, Imagine when we left, I was like, yeah, he's going to beat us by like an hour, hour and a half, and, you know, but you know, this is going to be fun and we'll learn stuff about it along the way. And, um, this guy has driven the whole way and I was going to drive this last leg, but he was like, nope, I got this. I've been this far, thousand miles, Ironman Pete has done it and we're averaging. Let me see what we're averaging here, Pete. For the whole trip, we averaged 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour and we're, We've that, that's lowered in the last leg or two because we've been yeah. driving at the max at we at that that Kyle and I agreed upon because we had some short legs and uh, and we were allowed to just burn some extra kilowatt hour. But up until that, for three quarters of the trip, we were averaging two miles per kilowatt hour, which is fantastic for this big, heavy, bulky truck with a terrible CDA. You know, um, what do you think, Pete? Yeah, um, we're gonna make it. We're gonna beat uh, them. I. I'm very superstitious. <laughs> and I'm um, not at all. But I, I think so. I think so. I think we're going to win. Well, it's, it's, it's no small part on you because you drove this whole way, allowed me to figure out where we're going to stop, you know, do some right. social media stuff. We've been tweeting along the way. We've been calling Kyle and yep. talking to them. Um, I was able to make some pizzas, make some coffee. So, you know, we, um, we, we, we actually had a blast. This has been a oh, lot yeah. of fun. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. It's it, this, you know, I figured it would be, but this, this has been fun. And I, I think Kyle feels the same way. So, um, all right, next stop is going to be at the final destination. Hopefully when we're pulling in that parking lot, there's not an antimatter blue lightning sitting there with Kyle and his uh, bleep eating grin on yeah. his face. Um, but uh, you never know because that guy can, he can figure out a way of, of, of pulling it out of his you know what. You know, I, I, I think we're ahead now. I think we're gonna win, but it really wouldn't surprise me if he's sitting there with his stupid Starbuck green, whatever <laughs> drink that he gets all the time and, uh, and with a big smirk on his face. So we'll see when we uh, pull up and, um, We'll see you guys at the finish line. Sounds good.
we have arrived into Florida. Welcome, Dad. We're in yeah. the lead. Kyle, <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, me too. I think I'm, I didn't want to say anything to Tom on the phone, but I'm feeling good. Yeah, so we'll see what happens here. But oh boy, definitely seventy degrees. Well, sixty-eight degrees. Yeah, weather's nice. We need to make sure the supercharger we're going to isn't going to be too busy because you know how Florida superchargers can be. Yeah. So we could still be screwed here. Yeah, no, absolutely. They're variables. For sure. We could we could be screwed. But right get, now we're we going to get pulled over for speeding. We're in the lead and we have a comfortable lead. I would say but, snuggly. But we really need this last charging stop to, to go well. Yes. I, I'm not sure how we've maintained the lead with Tom's faster charging. I don't know either. We're going to have to really look at the numbers because it looks like we're about, I don't know. I don't think, well, he had to do a deep charge and the EA that he was just at was three miles southeast of 95 and it took him seven minutes to get to it and then he had to go all the way back up. But the charging sessions themselves have been very good for him. Yeah, he's had nothing but great charging sessions where I think he's always, we're, we're getting a slight, obviously we're getting 450 amps, but also I think when it does limit, I feel like he's he's saying he's pulling, uh, you know, 120 kilowatts all the way to 80%. 80% right. We're showing like 110 all the way, but he's reading off the charger, we're reading off the battery. So it could be... Yeah, no, but it's close enough. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm feeling good though. Oh boy. Yeah, so we're 16 miles from the charger. Yeah. So let me let me start looking to see if it's busy because if it's busy, we should come up with an alternative plan. Yeah. Because we got a lot of options here that are open publicly. Oh, and the, for us as well. Yes, same. there's okay. like five different ones we can pick. Okay. So good. I picked the one that had 16 stalls because it was the biggest one. All right. Well, that's smart. Yeah. That's yeah. smart. There you go. Florida. Yeah, baby. Okay. Dad, rather than going to the Jacksonville City Center Charger, we've yeah. just agreed to go to Yuli, yeah. which is just a hair off the highway um, farther, It's but it's like one you know, tenth of a mile farther. And uh, the lightning charges faster the higher we are. So we're at 29% state of charge. Right. And we're going to be taking this exit and we're going to get a boost charge. We're going to get as much as we need. And then I think it's about 110 miles to get to Bucky's. Yeah. And it's only 10 miles shy of where we were going to go. Yeah. 11 miles. Uh, yeah. 10 miles by the time we're over there. So not that big of a deal. And I think it's going to be less busy. There's only one car there according to the off test here. lab. That's correct. We okay. are going to get off here. We are going to turn left. So, okay. let's. I know uh, where, yeah, yeah. I I've think, been here many times. There's there's good good restaurants. There's also a Florida Power and Light CCS here that never works. Okay. It, the last time I was here, it had a smashed glass wind um, screen on it. Someone got so mad they just smashed <laughs> it. I mean, I, really bad. Okay. So. so yeah, this is the move. I think we pull off here. Yeah. And go 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 because the light's green. Okay. Well, don't go that fast. <laughs> Sharp turn. Yeah. This is yeah. a weird intersection. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to want to go those, that way. This is almost weirder than New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we have these in actually Wyoming. Oh, do you? Yeah. They the, do the crisscross? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's go juice up here in Yulee. I think this is the best plan because we're at, what, 30% now? So this is where we can win. We've we've banked all of our 80% charges for this charge right here. Right. We're going to get just enough. I'm okay. feeling very confident right now, which scares me. <laughs> yeah. When I feel confident, there's usually something wrong. Okay. <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? Like, what am I missing here? Yeah, sure. Well, but uh, I don't think I am. Uh, all right. Well, I think me... we got this. Let's see. I don't know. These left turns. This is what kills you. Florida has the longest lights in, uh, <laughs> in the history of lights. They yeah. just. But oh. we should get it right now on this cycle, I hope. Yeah. So we, we're but if this thing's it. jammed, Kyle, we're bolting. That's right. Yeah, we're going to go All to the right. next so station. This yeah. is like an option. But I think yeah. we're going to yeah. cash go, our go, chips Go, go, go. All right, I'm going. I'm going. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, this is exciting. Really, these race to Vegas's are always so close. Vegas? Well, that, I get that style of video. This is race to Bucky's. Race to Bucky's. That's race right. Race to Bucky's. Yeah, we've changed the ending point three times. Bailey now. loves this stop here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she loves it here. Okay, They're well, there's grass. the superchargers. Yeah, you got to go in here and then to the left. I'm glad you know where you're I going. I know exactly where I am. 
and the FPLs are all the way over there. So when you get you go over there, you gotta walk yeah. all the way over here to get your. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're baby. good. And there's some on the other side of the cabinets. As oh well. well, let's go over there. Let's take the one all the way on the right. Uh, yep, good. We'll take that end spot. We won't yeah. even be blocking a Tesla oh, one. Oh yeah. That's great. Yep. So all the way on the end, and we are not blocking anyone. Heck yeah. All right. Yeah, baby. Here you go. Grab this. Okay. All right. Plug her in. Okay, we're in. Yeah. Great stuff. How you doing, yeah. sir? How you doing? All right. Oh, so you finally y'all got the adapter piece for that. That's right. This is a te this is the new model Tesla right here. You know. <laughs> No one really knows it. It's got like a different skin on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I heard that all of them, that they were trying to make it so everybody else can use it. You got to buy a gap that you can charge that Tesla quick That's right. right. That's right. That's the first time I've seen one. Yeah, I think we're one of the first ones to have it. <laughs> all right, let's see what we're doing here. Yeah, so uh, you want to use on, we're ripping. So we'll use your phone to film so I can check car scanner. All right, sounds good. All right. Come on in, check it out. Here we are, 157 kilowatts. And we're we're getting good power, 30% state of charge. The lightning charging curve and the mach is kind of this way is unlike any vehicle. It actually makes no sense from like a battery chemistry standpoint, but it's they do it this way, I think, to not overheat the wiring and the high voltage junction box and all that stuff. And it's it's not proper, but it works. It's actually very nice on a road trip because you just always go to 80% until the last stop. And here's where we can really win. So I need to do some calculations. We're at over 160 kilowatts now. And yeah. we still have another 10 minutes of boost to go. Right. So I wonder, does it make sense to leave here and then go charge at the next one? No, because um, it, it really won't. All right. Because the so, time off the highway and the risk at the right. charger. So we need to figure out where Tom is, glimpse it. No, we just canceled glimpse. We canceled glimpse? Yeah, it's oh, now so we we're don't going, know. We're going incognito? Yes. Oh yeah, we're going dark pool, and then and then the other thing we need to do is figure out how many miles we are away from Bucky's in Daytona Beach. It's got to be around like, is it over a hundred? I'm looking now. So Daytona Beach, Florida, Bucky's. I have to cancel everything that's in here. One second. Okay, it's one hour thirty seven minutes. It's a hundred nine miles. Hundred nine miles. So we need fifty percent. I don't want to be pull, pushing the truck again. Kyle. No, but keep in mind, you know, we're in there. It's moving traffic now. We have to go through Jacksonville. We only need 50%. We need to get out in front of Tom. And if he's coming up behind us, we can block him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle. Well, the, so the, the real interesting thing is we have no idea where Tom and Pete are because we, we turned off our glimpses. Well, we know, we know they're behind us, but well, the question is by how far. Right. So the thing is... If we charge to 50%, which is another 3%, the truck's only indicating about 100 miles of range because we've been doing 80 the whole time. Now, I think going through Jacksonville, speed limits are going to be lower, and I can just eke it out. Just like before, uh, we can push it in. So, but I, and we've just we're just coming out of our boost, so we took full advantage of our boost right. at the highest state of charge possible. So we are fully optimized. This is as good as we could get it. All of the charging this trip we have optimized, except for that first charge. We should have gone to eighty on the first supercharger. Yeah, we went to sixty six. Right, but yeah, yeah, it was also full, and like we wanted to get out of there, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, so, it, it was. It, it, I was feeling threatened. Right, but this <laughs> is a very easy truck to road trip because you just go to eighty. And now we just need to leave with just enough range to make it to the final. Yeah, what was nice is the station Don't here. Don't leave. you got to stay in there. We're about to I'm go. Not, I'm not staying, but okay. can, I, can, I, can I negotiate with you a little bit? No, no, no. I think we need to go to 55. Nope. 51? 51. 52? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need it. 109 miles is nothing. It's warm out. We yeah, it is warm out. Yeah. 73 degrees out here. Yeah, it's nice. There's no no need for it. All right. And here, okay? I'm not. We're going to 51%. We negotiated that. No. We're only at 49. Don't worry. You're getting very anxious on me here. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let's see what let's see our charging is going. Yeah, I just don't know where Tom is, and I we have to pull out ahead of him. <laughs> We're only doing 112 kilowatts into the battery. All right. Get ready to unplug. That's 50%. We're good. Oh, come on. We said 51. No, we don't need it. Oh, man. 
you can't, you know, this guy, he's always been like this. Whatever he gets in his head, doesn't matter what you say. He's usually right. That's the other part of let's it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. On, reverse. Which way is the wheel turning? Go, go out that way. Grab right, right. grab yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. This dude was cool. He's like, I've never seen you charge one of these things there. <laughs> See you later, pal. It won't let me adjust the seat while I'm moving. Because your seatbelt's not on? Or maybe that could be. All right, I need to get yeah. mine on, too. Yeah, I got to adjust this. Oh, okay. Hold on. We got to close the sunshade. We need less thermal load. Pay attention. Hang a right. Okay. <laughs> Oh. We're going for it. You know what? If we run out of juice like a half a mile before, that's because of that one turn. No, the turn was good. We didn't even slow down. When you hear squealing, that means, oh, wow, we're going for the... Yeah, we're, we're covering up all the... Yeah, climate's off, 108 miles. Man, why, why do I live in Connecticut, Kyle? It's 73 degrees here on March... What day, what day is it? Third? Yeah. It's so beautiful out. Coasting in using as much regen as possible. We have no idea where Tom is. Listen, I have a feeling. I I'm, didn't look, so I, I'm, you have a feeling I don't. I'm going to be able to eat two beef brisket sandwiches at Bucky's before he even shows up. That's how I'm feeling. But I don't really know. Okay, just hang on tight. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> Everything in the back is now on the that's right, that's the that's right that's side that's of the truck. <laughs> it's like, you remember in Dumb and Dumber yeah. when when uh, Jim Carrey was driving the dogs? I'm looking around to see if I see him yet. I don't know. <laughs> this is called... I do not trust the BMS in the F-150. That should be a bumper sticker. <laughs> I do don't, not trust the BMS in an F-150. Don't trust the BMS would be a good Don't sticker. trust the BMS. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. What's that noise? Don't worry about it. Oh, look at this Caprice Classic over here. Oh, now we're talking. We have arrived in Florida. Yeah. All right, 106 miles to go. 98 miles indicated. We have no idea if Tom's in front or behind. So we have nothing in the, in the, in the tank. We're negative. What are we, negative eight? Negative nine. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Yeah. Once but we I, can draft behind this Prius, we'll start making up some time. See, the, the thing is, you know you've got a big, strong guy that can push your truck for you. I've already learned. i got a backup yeah, plan yeah, yeah. you right got there. a backup plan. <laughs> and, you know, I've already done my exercise at 4.30 a.m. Well, once, once we got moving, I jumped in to steer. It was there. hard to push. This is a heavy truck up a yeah, hill. Yeah. And then as soon it started getting easier and easier. Yeah. And I was like, okay, we made it over the crest of the hill. Yep. Oh man. All right, well, we're, I don't know. See that semi truck up there? He's doing 80 miles an hour. We are gonna get really comfortable with the back end of his trailer if we can make our way up there. All right. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. So this is taking us, there's, are there alternate routes to get there that could be potentially why is it? Uh, Watch the road. Because we're on uh, filming. So let's kill filming. Let's dial in the nap. All right. Oh, yeah. Daytona Beach. There's your sign. This is originally where we were going to end everything was in Jacksonville. But Tom was right in that we really should do a thousand miles. So I'm glad that we're doing this. And it's a it's just over a thousand miles to Bucky's. Um, so, yeah, that leg, I didn't really log any of the trip data on the last leg. Whoops. It doesn't matter. I I have I I think we're in the lead, but we said first to the Mercedes Chargers that the Bucky's wins, right? Because there's Superchargers and Mercedes Chargers. Yeah, there's just one across. It looks like from the satellite maps. I haven't been to this Bucky's. This just opened recently in 2023. Yeah, it was not open the last time I drove by, and and Tesla. They're on other sides. Yeah, of the they're just lot. on opposite sides of the parking lot. But it's a good place for us to film tom as he pulls in with his tail <laughs> between his leg and you know well to be I, fair i think pete did a lot of the driving too and yeah, he's no, really a trooper absolutely but you know they're going to be sipping their coffee and eating their pizza yeah and uh well i'm turning all driver assistance systems off and i'm going full florida mode and i'm just 
riding the bumper of everyone. As whoever's going the fastest, I'm just staying. I feel like I'm in Italy like this, here. Right on this guy's bumper. Don't do that. Well, they're pushing the air out of the way, so we're drafting. That little Santa Fe is not pushing anything out of the way. Well, it really it. is. That's really making a difference. No you question. You think so? Absolutely. And you know, we're in NASCAR country. We gotta, you know, gotta get uh, get a little drafting going on here. <laughs> NASCAR country. Yeah, going to Daytona. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We are going to. Daytona. All right, so Kyle, tell tell me a little bit about the efficiency and how you're driving this last leg of the trip here. Yeah, well, I'm doing a lot of uh, manual driving, which means kind of just gently getting up on the uphills and then picking up speed on the downhills and coasting a little bit whenever possible. Uh, coasting is great because you eliminate the energy loss of outputting or regenning. Uh, you can just go on forever when you have the opportunity to coast on these rolling hills. So we're, we're uh, you know, being a, probably a little bit more efficient than Blue Cruise could be. And I've closed our gap. We have 84 miles to go, 83 miles to go, and 82 miles left on the gasometer. Meter. So I really right. feel good about where we unplugged. However, if you look ahead, you'll notice we have some water on the windshield. Rain is coming in, and range can be a huge energy sap. It rained can be a huge energy sap, especially when the road is wet. Uh, and wipers, of course, affect the aero profile of the vehicle. So we're keeping the wipers off. I'm driving in the dry line. <laughs> and uh, we're doing everything we can so I don't have to slow down. Right. So I know I know we came off a of 95 and jumped on 295 and just went over a gorgeous bridge. And I noticed you put the car in neutral which, on the downhill, yeah. which seems counterintuitive to me because I would think that you would want to be able to regen on the downhill. Why, why did you do that? Well, we wanted to gain speed on the downhill and we didn't want to regen because there's energy losses when regening. Very minor. But um, ultimately, we want to go as fast as possible. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold energy. on. I'm sorry. When you say there are energy losses when you regen, I, I know regening gives you energy. Why do you mean yeah. losses? Well, because um, your, your kinetic energy of the vehicle is, let's just say, you can gain one kilowatt hour if you have 100% power conversion efficiency. But we might only get 600 watt hours into the battery by the time the inverters have some losses and it goes into the battery pack and there's conversion. Oh, losses. so you're losing 40% when you're regening? Yeah, just maybe a little bit less. But okay, that's the idea. I see. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. And, and I'd rather just use that in coasting energy and gain some speed because we also need to stay in front of Tom. It's a balance of speed and efficiency that we're going for. I see, okay. If we were going for max efficiency, we would have gone 55 and regen on the way down because we don't care about the speed component Right. in that case, but here we actually do. And but you are also, actually gonna stay behind the Suburban and have them push some air out of the way. Right, across. but you need to be mindful of the speed, right? Like, the, what's the, mo what's the, spi the, um, the speed limit here versus what we're doing now? Right, well, I can't go more than 10 over. Right. Yeah, so just keep an eye on that. But yeah, all right, I am. very cool. So we are now 81 miles away from Bucky's. We have 81 miles And 81. All right, well, listen, you know what? You were right. Say I was. It again. Oh, oh, orange. No. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this, is like, this is like bumper cars Welcome here. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> yeah, what, what was that? See, that Murano, yeah. I think he did a good job of swerving. Yeah, we definitely uh, did not need No, he, yeah. That's all right. Proud parent of a U.S. Navy officer is in front of us, and they are pushing the air out of the way for in their Chrysler Pacifica. We have to say a big thank you to them uh, for letting us tailgate you for the last 10 miles. And we've built up quite a buffer, and our efficiency is 2 miles per kilowatt hour. And they're not quite going 80, which is 10 over, but they're doing 77, 78. So that's reasonable. I think this is a good balance. Dad, I agree. It's not worth risking this thing running out again at 2 miles. You, wait, wait, wait. Did, what did, did, I what did I hear? Did I hear you agree? Yeah, I agree. Okay. But, but if we don't have to. If I see Tom coming up in the rearview mirror, though, I will take the risk. <laughs> so we're, we're just going as quickly as we can behind this, yeah, this Pacifica. I really apologize what, for watching this video later. Sorry for tailgating you. What makes you think he's taking this route? Uh, There's this multiple is, ways yeah, to get there. This is, all, all the maps agreed to go this way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. So... The race is, is really... And, and uh, that's also a big assumption that he's behind us. Right. Well, if he's in front of us, we've already lost. Then I don't want to run out then. And if, if he's behind us, uh, at least I can keep my eye behind us and see if he's coming up. I see. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know. Genuinely no clue. Do you have a clue? You have a guess that we're... I 
am very confident that we just passed the World Golf Hall of Fame. That's what I'm confident of. We did that. Welcome to Florida. Yeah. Um, no, I think... I think that's every place in Florida. So you were asleep, and I was studying before we shut down the glimpse. Yeah. I was studying how long he was at that, uh, at that charger, and also the location of that charger. And my gut tells me we got this. Okay. But I'm not... I don't know because we shut it down a while but I'm ago. I'm not sure. You know, Tom really tried to. I think he's stretching it on that last leg, 160 miles. I think the move would have been to do what we did, which is just use the boost at the last possible opportunity and then go. And that's just just eking out. You know, the last optimization of the truck. Yeah. Well, I, I will say this: that look at this cat power, baby. Oh yeah, very cool. I just did a video with them. They're awesome. Wow, look at all that. Yeah. Right here, you did a video with them yeah, there. I did it at, uh, whoa, 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 buses welcome. Look at that. Lucky's 59 miles. No trucks though. No trucks welcome, really? No truck. No, no trucks are allowed at Bucky's. Not it's not a that. truck stop. Oh. It's uh well, I, guess that, I do I think I see trucks around. No, Bucky's no somewhere. 18 wheelers are allowed at Bucky's. Oh wow. Yeah. Bucky does not like 18 wheelers. So okay. Kyle. Well, we are on our final leg using uh, Blue Cruise again. We have 10 miles to go, 10% in the battery. Plenty of buffer. So, uh, you know, we're at 80 miles an hour. Just we have the juice. We put the air conditioning on. Plenty, plenty of extra to use and burn. No so issues. the question is, when we get there, because I'm going to be there. I, it is. It is, uh, it is Tom and Pete. Are we going to lose? Right, and I, I I instructed him, Bucky's. I gave him the address, and I told him we're meeting at the Mercedes Chargers. Right. Okay. Yep. So because there's two sets. And there. for the viewers who don't know, Mercedes is building out their own network, similar to like a Supercharger Network or something else, uh, and it's open to everyone. And Mercedes is funding it, but it's open to to everyone. And they got the Bucky's contract, which is awesome. Yeah, that and is great. They're quite expensive, but they use. ChargePoint Express Plus, which has been a little bit buggy, I don't know, but it should be okay. And uh, yeah, some of them are really nice locations. Yeah, and they when we drove by the Buckies in Florence, they were right along 95, whereas the Superchargers at that Buckies are all the way in the back. So I have a feeling that they're not right next to each other. No, yeah, I, I would agree. I would say they're probably on just the seeing what they did at the other uh, at the other location. But uh, yeah, this has been this has been a lot of fun. One thing I will say is the supercharger pricing on this trip. We'll have to we'll have a debrief with everything, but seems very reasonable. And if you're a Ford, you can actually get the same pricing as Teslas get for 12 bucks a month. You pay a membership, and then you get the same pricing as Teslas. The end is in sight, Dad. Kyle, look at it. There it is. There's, <laughs> There's Bucky. Buckies. Look, at, I can see his buck teeth from here. Look at that. Okay, and we we genuinely have no clue. No. Who's in the lead? Holly Hill, Daytona Beach. All right. It, what, I mean, you're pretty confident that we're in the lead. I didn't really look at the map. We, we're also just confused if we win how we won because I am. we had surge. And I would say, um, yeah, the rest of the charging curves was great. I have to say the lightning, by the way, before I forget, this is an amazing road trip. Oh, yeah, I've, I've it's loved it. consistent. Very comfortable. It has no thermal issues. The driver assistance is incredible. You said it was better than autopilot. I, I would say it's... It's, it's equal, different. but I didn't feel, I didn't have any, the, the weird thing that happens is, because you have it set, is it keeps changing the speeds when it sees the different, like. Yeah, the speedometer, the speed limits internally are not. And there's so true. many of them, and you don't see the road signs, so that was a little bit disheartening. Can we go left from the right lane? Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, Bucky. I don't see Tom anywhere. No, well, he may be sitting there eating a beef brisket sandwich. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, I don't, no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he and Pete were like, you know, uh. well, Pete and him were having coffee this morning out the back of their lightning, and I'm like, this, they're not focused. You gotta, you gotta be in the game. I, I mean, Kyle, I don't even think you use the bathroom once when you're so focused. Yeah, this is so important, Mr. Camel. Things right. No, I, I understand. Yeah, so uh, that's why the race to Vegas is are really fun. When we get like four cars and then, you know, everyone on the out-of-spec team, we're all very regimented about how we drive. Yeah. It's really, really great. Yeah. So. Well, I've learned a lot 
about this race. I thought... Yeah, sorry for being harsh on my language to you. I'm used to it. <laughs> but it just has to go a certain No, listen, I respect what you're saying. I, I, this, is, this, is your, this is our business, but you know what you're doing here. I don't. I thought we were going to get a hotel room last night and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle, there it is. Okay, where are the Mercedes chargers? Uh, I'm looking. I don't see them. I see the supercharger cabinets on the far side over there. Then uh, look on the opposite by side. where the motorhomes are. Oh wait, I see some. I see some right over there. You see that little green sign? Yeah, this thing. Oh yeah, there's the Mercedes chargers. Okay. Great. I don't see a lightning there. I see a Polestar. Is there a lightning there? I, I don't know. There's a, something with a trailer. I don't see a lightning. I don't. I think we're. Wait, you can't. I didn't even see. It. I was. Yeah, I, I saw a Polestar two charging. But I, I think we're beating Tom. So do you think we have time to go shopping at the Tanger Outlets no, over no, here? We're or? not risking it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, look at this oh, guy. Out of the way. He's got his ice cream? Yeah, what is he eating there? We're just going to squeeze through oh, here. Don't smokes. mind us. All right. Well, the Mercedes Chargers, we're back over here straight ahead. Okay. I see There's a mini, a mini SE. SE. Yeah. And... We got to turn left here. Can you let us turn? You're not going to let us turn? Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> and we're pulling in. Oh, look. There. <laughs> so did we win? Yeah, Are we first? You're first. Yeah. Oh, no oh, way. Yeah. Hey, hey, how's everything? Big fan. Oh, Love that's amazing. Thanks for watching. How's it going, Dave? Good, doing so, great. 1103. 1103. 1,003 miles, 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour. All right, let me let me jump out. Remaining. Let me jump out and film you uh, yeah, plugging, in plug in, plugging in here. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, we had no idea what was happening. Yeah, we canceled the glimpse also just because we didn't want to game anything at the end. Right. And um, yeah, we had no idea what was going to happen. It's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. All Here's right, so we won. Oh yeah, this is great. Oh yeah, this is. You know, let me let me show you how nice CCS life is. We've been slumming it with adapters and short cables. Take a look at this. Yeah. Look at how nice this is. Wow. This is the future. And can, does that pull out even further? Yeah. Wow. Wow, this is next level. That is. So now the question is. How much do we beat Tom by? And should we hide Well, it the said truck? 11, 1103. Should, should we hide the truck so he thinks he's first? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, we won't do that to him. But that no. Would be what time is Look it? who's arriving. Yeah, what time is it, Dad? I got the filming. You 11, 12. 11, 12, 12. six All minutes. Right. <laughs> we beat him by six. And Pete's driving. Hold on, here come the excuses. Here come the excuses. No excuses? How long have you been here? Six minutes. Six minutes? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, Three minutes was us trying to find the park where, where it is. <laughs> yeah. We were over there. We we're on that side of the parking lot driving yeah. around. So wow! Congratulations, though. We really did this. That was amazing. Yeah. Did yeah. you drive the whole time, Pete? Yeah. yeah. Pete, Pete Holy smokes! You need to go take a nap or something, dude. So we finished up with uh, 11 miles of range left, 5% state of charge. So what was your final state of charge? Six percent. So okay, I was going to say if you went down to zero, like yeah. I was going to say, I, I charged. No, I, I didn't. We, I, we did I started with one less and we ended with one more, but I don't know how we won. The, that ending one off the highway screwed you that guys. That last yeah. one took us, I think, thirteen minutes. Yeah. To get to and get out. Oh, well, then that's the difference. It was there 13, you go. Because it was it was six minutes one way and seven minutes the other way. I think it oh, all so came down. Minutes, total round total, round yeah. Yeah. yeah, six minutes one way, seven and, minutes and, the other way. And that way. other one, too, where Google screwed us up, too. Yeah, that, yeah. that didn't help it we, any, we, either. We had another one where we didn't get, we couldn't get out of the parking lot, and Google made us go, like you said, this is the way, and we drove five miles on a back road. Oh, my before God. Before we got to 95. Mm -hmm. And it took 10 minutes. And so, we were so, wondering whether Google knew something we didn't yeah, know like, that you could get back on the highway and turn around. That way, you know? But that's what you get when the stations aren't right on the, the, the highway. When you yeah. got to go off, you know. So, yeah. so um, your truck went down to 0% just fine, 1% just fine? Yeah. 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 Mine shut off yeah. with two miles remaining. 
Yeah. We had well, we never went to two miles remaining. Two miles. Oh, okay. We had, like four we had four miles, miles four remaining miles. when we okay. went down to one percent. Yeah, I think I'm letting that just calibrate a little bit. I think the BMS was confused. So, uh, but the truck's been uh, wow, Tom. These are amazing road trippers. Uh, you, so you've comfortable. Heard me raving about yeah, me, I, I see why. For years, I love this truck. Yeah, I, I, you know, I mean, this was so comfortable on this. Well, drive. you don't have to worry about thermal management of the battery. You charge to eighty percent, and you just go. There's no benefit yeah. of leaving early. A lot of people say that the Lightning doesn't charge, but yeah, it could charge faster. Yeah, right? sure, it absolutely, it, it could charge faster. But for what it does, it is a rely. You know exactly what you're going to get. Yeah, and it's not terrible. No, I mean, no, no. You know, we didn't we didn't stop more than. Uh, you know, this was our stops, our charging times. 45 minutes, 47 minutes, 45 minutes, 28 minutes, 35 minutes. We drove a thousand miles. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That should be, you know, if that should be a, you know, 75% shorter, but we'll get there one day. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. get there. Yeah. But, listen, but it's not bad. We, I'm fine. It was yeah. perfect for us. We needed you that need the break. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, but never mind the truck. Yeah. We, we, I, I needed the break too. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I get up and go for a walk and stretch but out. But Ford built one great vehicle. Yeah. The I, Blue Cruise is amazing. I mean, Pete, what was your impression of all of the driver assistance and the ride quality? Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, the ride quality. I mean, this is yeah, not the amazing. first time I've driven this truck. I've yeah. got quite a few miles on this truck and I love it. I absolutely love it. That, you know, that. The, the the only thing that makes me nervous is the the, the blue cruises uh, lane centering thing. Yeah, I, I always felt like I'm too close too, to, to the, the right. To yeah. the right, I agree. Are going to get one point two. Yeah, no lane changes or anything in these yeah, yet. And, 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 by the way, Tom, yeah. we drove from your. So this is the Tom DeBucky's East Coast race. Yeah, this is the new route. This by is the, the way. new route, right? <laughs> this is a legendary. How many miles? A thousand three. And you we drove eleven point seven miles more. more. How because many more? of that? Look, oh yeah, a thousand, I, almost thousand fifteen. That's because, because of the location yeah. of the season. Yeah, well that's yeah. how we won. Pete, you yeah. know what you got to do? We that's got, it. The timer's still on. Okay, yeah. well we'll let you guys do your thing, but we'll catch up at the end. But that is, that's great. <laughs> guys, this is really interesting. I just plugged into the Mercedes charger here. Um, it actually was looking for a plug-in charge authentication, but this doesn't have the certificate for it. Um, but notice we're only getting 450 amps, even on this charger. So both Tom and I were under the impression that the Lightnings pull 500 amps, but actually I think they only pull 450 amps. So I actually think we were getting full speed the entire time, Dad. So I think we were getting, uh, there was no 450 did, amp limitation for superchargers. Did, uh, did Tom have the V-Peak with him as well? He doesn't have one. Oh, no? no? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so he, he's not So, so our sure. thinking that it was a limitation of the, the Tesla software. It's not. It's this not. Because this is a full 500 amp plus output. This is a 400 kilowatt charger. Right. What's the, what do they charge here for this one? Uh, it's quite expensive. 60 something cents. 60 something yeah. cents. Okay. But, um, yeah, there we go. That, I think we got full power the whole way. So wow. it was really just a station location thing. Interesting. Yeah, so I guess all of our talk about having slightly slower charging was not correct. Well, you know what would be good is to is to take an F-150 with that VP can see at an EA where they were charging if it was still limited to 450. Yeah, but this is the same thing. This same is 450. thing? 450. This is okay. a, a full-speed charger. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So no issues here. All right, cool. All right, well, here we are at the, at the, at the end, the finish line, and... Uh, yeah, Tom. Nice job. Nice job. We lost. <laughs> so a thousand miles to lose by three minutes. I know. Jeez. It's crazy. But that, that was that was a lot of fun. It was and a lot of fun. Can you believe how close it was? It's a thousand miles you, with you and we we six lead changes. And, and you know what was amazing was when we were doing the lead changes, we were at the same exact state of charge yeah. while you were driving. We were plugged in. And I, when we pulled up, I had five percent state of charge. You had six. It's crazy. Right? I think it was one percent difference. It's crazy. So, yeah, it really, but that's great. You know what's it, what's really nice is you had excellent charging sessions at EA the whole way down, right? All five of my charging sessions were perfect. Right. I, there's a single thing I could say about Electro America. If that was the experience that people would get every single time, people would be saying it was the best thing in the world. Yeah. And yeah. maybe they're getting better. I don't know. You know, I hope they are. I hope for, for everybody they are. But no. those, my five charging yeah. sessions were flawless. And yeah. uh, I want to thank Electrify America for, you know, putting me in the game. Yeah. I didn't think we had a chance to beat you guys. I really I didn't. I did not when either. We started, but as the day was going on, I'm saying, 
this is we're we're, we're rocking. The EA stations are are kicking. Yeah. You know, we're getting in and out of here to eighty percent in yeah. three minutes. We we might beat these guys. And you and, charged on every station three fifty uh, at, yeah. at every uh, stop, right? Yeah, every stop I had a three fifty. Okay. And I charged to eighty percent on all the stops except for the last what's, one. What's the peak kilowatt that I'm sure we'll look at all the data, but it's just off the top of your head. Do you remember the peak kilowatts you saw? I so I didn't. Uh, watch all the the charging sessions, but I know I saw 171 okay. a couple of times. Um, Pete might have saw, seen more, but um, what's the most you've ever seen in your I think truck? 183. Okay, so we didn't even we we saw about 161. Yeah. That was it. But um, yeah, but um, you know, I mean, the peak is one thing. It's really the whole. Yeah, it's the, whole the char. Curve. It's the, you know, the it's car. Curve. It Pete's, charges strong you know, to eighty yeah, percent. It Pete, really does. Pete sounds like it's a great number. People say, "Oh, I got this amount. Yeah, I got it for a minute." You know. Yeah. It really. You, you know, we all. You know, I was making forty minute stops or so. The really the average kilowatt delivered over those forty minutes is really what matters. I don't care if it was one eighty, one seventy. Yeah. You know? And evidently, I needed one or two more average kilowatt, and I and I would have been here. I still, I'm still amazed. Three or four minutes. I'm telling you Separated that last charging stop, the location was three or four minutes. That location right? on the yeah. last one, that Tom, yeah, that's no, what yeah, that, that, killed that, that, that that killed, killed you guys. Yeah, okay. it, was, it was twelve minutes. All right. Everyone could have optimized more if we needed to, yeah. of course. Yeah, but totally. uh, towards the end, we knew we were in trouble, so we really had to pull out all the stops. And, and we didn't. We got a yeah. little cocky. When, You're I drinking think, coffee. Yeah. We're drinking coffee. <laughs> when, when we when we finished that charging session, we sat in the truck and filled out all the data before we drove away. Oh, yeah. crazy! Oh. It probably took two minutes that, yeah. and then it was twelve minutes to you know, yeah. no seven minutes to get back out onto the highway. So like, there's nine minutes there. I should have just said here. Was, you fill yeah, out that. Just, yeah. I just pull out. You, you fill it out. Yeah. Yeah. No, we sat there together. Like, oh, what was that? Uh, Fifty-eight <laughs> kilowatt hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is how they all go. Yeah. yeah well, listen, Vegas. Is like, tight. Yeah, you know, well, the, the fact of the matter is, and we talked about this, this this was uh, Electrify America versus Tesla. It wasn't Kyle against us, right. you know, no, I mean, yeah, it was yeah, fun. Yeah. Um, and what it came down to was the charging experience of Electrify America was fantastic, in my opinion. But their locations aren't as good as Tesla's locations. Every time we saw where you guys were stopping, you literally like pull off 95 right. and you're Perfect. and you're plugging in. Yeah. And I'm spending four or five minutes. I'm going to total up all the Did time. Did you use plug yeah. and charge at all? No, no I didn't use plug and charge. Yeah, okay. I didn't use the app. I'll, I'll pay more with plug yeah, and yeah, charge. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, and, and it's no, really not any faster. It's not faster. And, um, you know, so I'm going to total up. I wrote down, I kept records of everything. I'm going to total up the total time it took me to get off the highway, to go to the charging stations, and then when I'm done, to get back. I guarantee you it's more than a half an hour. Yeah, probably yeah. so. Probably so, you so. know, and you guys maybe were 10 minutes total. Yeah, maybe not even. So, I mean, there's 20 minutes. You know, we could have, I could have been on my second cup of coffee here waiting yeah. for you to arrive. Well, I think we've learned <laughs> that the charging performance was the same. Because yeah. uh, it seems like they're both 450 amp limited. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we, we had the same charging speeds. Uh, only one, uh, we had actually, you had no issues with charging performance. We only had one that it was surging, yeah. that we had to move and unplug and we switch. Didn't see anything. You didn't see anything like that. So it's like, you know, EA was more reliable it than was. Tesla. And you had longer cables. We were inching the thing around at stations and we were getting looked at by all the Tesla people. So I would say you probably had a smoother experience than we did. I, I can, I, I've said this, I think five times in this video already, I cannot complain about a thing. Right. It was a fantastic Electrify America charging experience from New Jersey to Florida, flawless. So, you know, hey, sometimes, you know, you, 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 they're, they're turning you, you things around. It. I hope that's the case. Yeah. I hope I didn't just get lucky. I hope they're making progress. Of course, I you know, again, because it was late at night, there were at each station available uh, 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 one or there was at least yeah. one that was down. If we yeah. were to start now and go back, yeah. the EA stations get slammed yeah. pretty quick. And right. many, many of them were many of the sites we were at had at least one station down. That's what I'm. Now that's it's what a four-station yeah, site yeah. with one down. Okay, well that's not. You great. know, yeah, that's not great. Right. We, they they were, had at least one down. We only saw one supercharger stall down. It's because someone crashed into it. The whole trip. Yeah. Well, we, we we I don't know if there was one down on every location, but very close. To it. So it was it was it was it was but. 
because of our timing. You know, it would have been different if we did it during the day. Yeah, the, I guess first one, the first one they were all working. And, yeah. and Tom, you also, you asked that, that woman to move her Ionic 5, yeah. right? Yeah. Which was nice. That was our first stop. I'm like, oh, this is how it's going to start. There's only one <laughs> yeah. 350, yeah. and there's someone trying. And we are watching it the whole time. I'm like, great, Pete, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're like 10 minutes out, and I'm like, oh, dink. Yeah, dink. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I know they're not going to be done in 10 minutes. Right, sure. Yeah. So, so, you know, we roll up. Pete pulls in the one next to it, and I'm, I'm like, I'll just try this. You know, and I actually went, went to our window, and I'm like, listen, I'll give you $20 if you move your car over to here. And they looked at me, it was a, a, a family, and they smiled, and they're like, you don't have to pay us, we'll move it over. And I'm like, thank you so that's much. That's nice. You know, that you know, and then nice. you run into nice people. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's well, good. This, you need a lot of current for these trucks, because they're very low voltage, so that 350 kilowatt It made a difference. I knew I had to get 350s the whole way. I knew, yeah. I knew that was going to be important. Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, fun trip, we learned a lot. Yeah. Learned a lot. I don't know what we learned, but we learned a lot. <laughs>